emerged through the new insurance marketplaces despite the problems the government's health care website had when the enrollment season began last fall. But the announcement that was made by President Obama during a conference call with counselors for the system may not tell the whole story about how many people are actually getting health insurance. The administration has not said how many of these people have actually started paying premiums. It's also not clear how many of the people who have signed up gained coverage through Medicaid. Still to be announced is the percentage of those 6 million people who are young people. Diane Kepley, Washington. Despite opposition by many in state government, the Obama administration is touting Florida as a health care overhaul success story. Tony Winton has the details. Republicans in Florida pulled out the stops in opposing the Affordable Care Act, suing to stop the law, opting out of the Medicaid expansion, even banning signups on state property. But White House aide Cecilia Munoz is beaming about 440,000 signups in Florida, more than predicted. You know, there have been obstacles in the state of Florida, but at the same time, you're number two in the nation uh, in terms of states with large uh, enrollments. There were many procrastinators at a sign-up event just a few days before the deadline. Some said there were glitches on the website, but were happy they could complete the sign-up process. Tony Winton, Doral, Florida. <laughs> A new survey by the Associated Press and GFK shows support for the Affordable Care Act is still low. Correspondent Shirley Smith explains. Public support for President Obama's health care law is languishing. In fact, a new Associated Press GFK poll says it's at its lowest level since it was passed four years ago. The figures put support at just 26 percent. And although repealing the law has been a rallying cry for Republicans, only 13 percent in this survey think that will happen. The rest say it will be further implemented as passed or with minor changes. Shirley Smith, Washington. Several Senate Democrats have introduced legislation that would eliminate a requirement in the health care law for companies to provide coverage if they have fewer than 100 employees. Correspondent Kerry Shoemaker explains. The legislation would mean an estimated 98 percent of businesses could decline to provide insurance without fear of a penalty. The current cutoff is 50 employees, although the Obama administration has temporarily suspended the so-called small business mandate. The bill is backed by five Democrats and one independent. Three of the Democrats are seeking re-election at a time Republicans are emphasizing their demand for repeal of the law. Democratic strategists are urging their candidates to emphasize changes they would make, as well as to stress parts they support. Carrie Shoemaker, Washington. The Air Force has fired nine mid-level nuclear commanders and will discipline dozens of junior officers after an exam cheating scandal. National Security Correspondent Sagar Magani has the story from the Pentagon. The Air Force calls the moves unprecedented in the nuclear mission force's history, but this is just the latest in a series of missteps. There are cultural issues here. Air Force Secretary Deborah Lee James says the scandal involved dozens of missile launch officers at Malmstrom Air Force Base and exams designed to test how they handle emergency war orders. We found no evidence that it existed outside of Malmstrom. Where missileers were under intense pressure to unnecessarily ace every test. Lieutenant General Steve Wilson says the service is making big changes in how it trains and leads the nuclear missile force. Sagar Magani at the Pentagon. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Ziggle. And I'm Rick Young. The latest news from around the world. We are Radio VR in Washington. Now, how much money will all those closeted Republican convention goers bring into the city, Marie? A lot. The average area prostitute normally makes around two to $300 a week jerking off truck drivers behind the bus station. I see. Next week, they are expecting to make 30 times that amount sucking off secretly gay Republicans. Wow. You figure the fact that these delegates are so repressed and filled with self-hatred, yes. they tend to like the filthiest, kinkiest sex acts imaginable. Oh, that's which right. Which tends to cost more. The average well-adjusted gay man has no desire to smear fecal matter all over his partner's <laughs> face would no. be beat up by him. But that is exactly the sort of thing that these repressed conservatives are willing to pay top dollar for. Okay, as well as the services of transsexuals, oh, I understand. Yes. A, a lot of the Republicans repeatedly call the prostitutes faggots or True. start crying after they've had sex with them. I suppose the prostitutes are shoring up on their politics so they can talk to the Republicans. Ha ha, Andrea, what do you think this is? Pretty woman? They're just there to get f right. Thank you, Marie Byron. Oh, RNC's always a good time. This is the Onion News Network. 
This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night edition. Yes, I know you're not used to hearing live radio on a Sunday night, but maybe you are if you've been listening to our show for a while. We've been doing it for going on three years, I think. Uh, And we, tonight, is uh, me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. And our website, of course, is freetalklive.com. Go there, find out about the show, and listen to all of the archives of our past episodes. We do do the show seven nights a week, not uh, the three of us in particular, but somebody's here in the FTL studio seven nights a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time doing an entertaining radio show for you, where you can call in and bring up anything that's on your mind. That's why we call it Free Talk Live. And we do encourage you to call in at 855-450-3733 and bring up whatever you want to talk about. Those are the ProXPN call-in lines? Yes, and uh, ProXPN sponsors our call-in lines. Very dear uh, company to us, VPN provider, which we'll talk a little bit more about them later. But Mark, first I want to start off with a story that you brought in. This is really interesting. There's a new service that lets you basically pay for a date, and it costs eighty dollars. Is that right? Well, not eighty dollars. No, no. I guess I <laughs> let me. <laughs> well, tell me more then. Yeah, let me uh, uh, go into this here. So I ran across an article on Business Insider, which is one of these. Uh, it's it's journalism that allows you to get paid per view. It's great for authors, and I found this story to be very interesting. Uh, it's it's about this guy who was from MIT, and he set up this company and. The company was about getting uh, women, uh, people, uh, people generally, but women specifically, uh, really, mostly, um, getting paid to go on dates. And he's got a new company out, and his name is Brandon Wade. And I guess he was shy and when he was younger, and he was going to MIT and majors in physics, and it all, all makes sense, right? Um, and at some point or another, he... he did this website called SeekingArrangement.com. Oh, I've heard of this. Yes. Now, so, this website has existed for a while, yeah. but it, it, it existed outside of my purview. I didn't know anything about it. This is one of those sugar daddy websites. Yes. Yeah. And it created a, he's created an app called Seeking Carrot. It's a mobile app that literally requires men to offer bribes to women for dates with seeking gifts. Seeking Carrot. So seeking. like a carrot and a stick? Carrot and a stick, yes. Where's he, the Seeking the Stick part? <laughs> well, I don't, you have to work that around, uh, around out later. <laughs> they, um, so, they don't want the stick unless they get the carrot, too. <laughs> so they start with things like chocolate and jewelry, uh, you know, chocolate to jewelry. I don't know what woman's going to say, I want chocolates um, to, to go on a date with you. Yeah. They're probably going to say, I want jewelry or whatever. But it's it's kind of interesting, and I, I think it's wow. Well, isn't that what you're supposed to do in the traditional paradigm anyway? Is like <laughs> offer to buy a woman dinner so that she'll go out with you? Isn't that like kind of a bribe in a way? I I think so. Um, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not saying I agree with that or anything. Like everybody that I've ever wanted to go on a date with, I they wouldn't have had to buy me dinner. And in fact, I. I pretty much always split the cost or, yeah. you know, like we'll alternate buying each other dinner if we're going on several dates or whatever. Uh, <laughs> right. I think that it's, um, you know, as far as, you know, who buys dinner, I think it's always an interesting question. I never never considered for a moment that I wouldn't be the one buying dinner on a first date. Hmm. Um, well, it sounds like... I. Then again, I've never dated a a woman like you, Steph. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you get to do a radio show with me every week. (laughs) I'm just thinking, I mean, I could picture somebody who feels insecure about their ability to attract a date. Mm -hmm. Um, Like, you know, sometimes when you're insecure and you don't feel like you have a lot of self-worth, like people do this with employers too. You know, that they they voluntarily will kind of like take a lower salary or they'll say, oh, I'll work really hard for you. Or or with a date, they'll say, I'll buy you dinner, I'll buy you a drink, or can I buy you a drink? And they don't, I don't know if they necessarily believe that the person would go out with them voluntarily if they weren't being offered something. And I'm not saying everybody who buys a date dinner is thinking that, but definitely some of them are. And it sounds like this person who created the website um, is sort of of that mindset, right? Well, I, 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 this website, I agree with what you're saying about people, um, uh, you know, thinking they have to buy something to get somebody to go on a date. That's that's the kind of person that's going on this website, mm-hmm. and I think it's a terrible way to have a long long term relationship, yeah. in, in my opinion. 
However, I don't think that somebody who chooses to pay for a date the first time around, a male uh, who chooses to um, you know, not want to split the, the money for a date on the first go round, is thinking that at all. They're just saying, you know, how do I make this a good date? Because what they want to do is they want to create an atmosphere where they can talk to this person in a way that they can choose to, I think, uh, this is what, what I would want to be doing, mm -hmm. in a way that you can decide how you want to connect with them, if you want to connect with them, you know, that you're, everybody's sort of, uh, you know, everybody's ready to talk and, and be comfortable in all those things. Yeah, I, I see that about creating the atmosphere. And that makes sense. If you have an idea about what kind of experience you want to have, like if you really want to go to a certain kind of restaurant or if you want to go skydiving or something sometimes those things cost money and if yes. it's your idea then it's a nice thing to do to offer to pay for it absolutely sure. um so if you wanted to go to a nice restaurant as a single man you're just going to go as a single man or you're going to go right. with your friend both of these situations stink um so you may <laughs> want to go with a woman and that may be the first date that you want to go on i recommend coffee uh, i think that that's the oh yeah definitely because you're much better off spending <laughs> You know, if she goes whole hog with the mocha fat frappuccino with the uh, the the half latte, whatever, you know, that whole thing. Five bucks. I or, drink black. Or split it. Right. <laughs> Seven fifty tops, yeah. right? Like yeah. you're really there. And that's what you're paying to have to, to sit down and talk to her. Then you get to pay for the the meal. And you're in a oh coffee shop. People like to talk in those. And I've had plenty of meetings in coffee shops. It's fine. Yeah. So I recommend coffee over that. But I can, you know, I don't have anything wrong. There's nothing wrong, in my opinion, for pay, with the, you know, for paying for a meal on a date. Um, yeah, you know, I don't really like much of what the pickup artists have to say. But one thing that was the best thing that comes out of the pickup artist, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, they do say like, look, if the person likes you, they'll want to spend time with you voluntarily, whether you buy them things or not. Yes. So why, like, what kind of waste your time buying drinks and dinner when? you know, that might just kind of hide the fact that yep. the person isn't actually interested in you. They're interested in what you're buying them. You know what I mean? Indeed. I think this is, well, I don't think, I don't think dinner, um, I, I think very few people are like, oh, I, very few women are like, oh, I want a really nice dinner. I think I'll go out with this guy. I just don't think that that's think enough. I think some women do say that actually. Really? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh oh yeah. I've known. No, there's probably some, but I wouldn't say it's majority. Would I, you? You know what? I will say I have said that in the past. Like this was I'm talking like 10 years what, ago. Like the worst case scenario is he bought me a nice dinner or like I I have had a, I'd like a nice dinner a so guy, I'll go with this guy I wouldn't go out with. Exactly. Really? Yes. Okay. Oh all right. Well I, I haven't done that for many years but I, I, in I the stand past, corrected as long as it's happened one time that I yeah. suppose it has happened more than that. I'm just I guess I'm stunned because I absolutely wouldn't. Yeah. If there was a woman that I was not interested in um in any way shape or form I'm not going to go to a nice deal. I'm not not going to do it. Well, there's also this sort of My added valuable. social thing. Uh -huh. you're, you're right, Mark. And like, I mean, at, but when you're 20 years old mm -hmm. and like at the, up till that point, you've kind of been told I, like women get a lot of these messages that say that they're not supposed to say no and they're not supposed to hurt anybody's feelings. At and some point or another, you're going to have to say no. Oh, I it's know. It's worse to say no <laughs> I figured that after out. you've taken the meal. I figured that out. Yeah. Yeah. And then I didn't do it anymore. But, you know, that's the message that you get. You want to avoid saying no as much as possible. And it, it's that moment of panic. Like, what am I going to do? Like, oh, this guy that I don't really um, don't really like, I'm not really interested in, wants to take me out on a date. Um, do I say no and reject him and feel bad because I, quote, made him feel bad? Or do I say yes and just go on a date with him and and then delay having to say no until he makes a move or something if, like that? I would say if you're sure or at least... 75 percent sure yeah. the answer would be no yeah if you're well sometimes you feel persuaded to give him a chance though that's the bad thing like right. you rationalize it right you know i think that it's fair that if you're like oh should i give this guy a chance is it possible then you probably should um i suppose if, if but, you have nothing better to do to like convince yourself to give the person a chance then it's probably not right. i don't i disagree with that <laughs> um I, I do i think that i i have not ever um I've dated quite a few people and I've I've not ever gone on a date where I said to myself, well, I'm just going to give him a chance. And then it ended up working out and I really liked him. It was like I pretty much knew before. Can we trash this whole system? Yes, this is please. so complex I, and terrible. I agree. Oh, but what do you think? I want to hear the audience's thoughts about this. 855-450-3733. Ever gone out with someone you didn't really like to get a nice dinner? Ever had that, that happen to you? Call us, let us know. It's Free Talk Live. Everybody wants to know. 
what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is, and it's at bitcoingeneralstore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything, with free shipping. What can you find at bitcoingeneralstore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. You got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. A meme is not easy to define. What is it? But you know it when you see it. Amazing. Don't tread on meme.com proves that. I feel so enlightened. Don't Tread on Meme, M-E-M-E, -E, helping you give the finger to our monetary system of deception by providing you with silver dime trading cards. Unlike today's dollar, they have value, and they look neat too. Oh, well, would you look at those? Aren't those just swell? Don't Tread on Meme.com. While you're browsing their numerous silver dime card designs, take time to download the easy-to-use silver calculator app. This simple piece of technology lets you know instantly, whether using iPhone or Android, just how much your silver coin is worth. Find out all the details at DontTreadOnMeme.com. Now accepting Bitcoin. Don't Tread on Meme, your path to a voluntary society with honest money. DontTreadOnMeme.com, serving you faster than the Fed prints money. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t-shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You're listening to the live Sunday night show with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. And how much would you pay to go on a date with a beautiful Mark Edge? <laughs> and Mark, how much would you accept for, for to go on a date with one of the listeners? We're talking about single Mark, right? <laughs> I well, remember him vaguely. Yeah. <laughs> um, but with a beautiful woman? Well, well, that's the thing. Like because this website that we're talking about, which is some something like seeking a carrot or something, yeah. uh, you set a price basically. Like you you put an offer out there. And you say, I'll pay you this much money or give you this chocolates or whatever to go on a date with me. 
But that's for everybody. That's just kind of to the general public, right? You can't make the offer to a specific person, as I understand it. So what would you require, Mark, in order to put an offer out to the general public and so anybody out there in the public, man, woman, ugly, attractive, whatever, would have to pay that price well, to go out on a date with you? You know, in, in, in that case, you're talking about you'd have to say yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes. It's going right. to be a really high price mm-hmm. um, because... My time's valuable. Mm-hmm. I, I don't want to sit there having an inane conversation with somebody who's I do not find attractive, um, who may be of the same gender. Uh, <laughs> I mean, but I've also looked and thought, you know, I've looked at unattractive women and thought, what would that be like? And I might as well have sex with a man and that that I just have no in, just intention. no attraction to that. Yeah, just nothing. <laughs> so I I mean, you well, know, I'll has- say this. If you if you did it, if you gave it to charity, whatever the amount of money was, I bet Mark would do it. The guy is the Bob Hope of Liberty. You're right. I I, I do like charities. The Bob Hope of Liberty. I do like charities. He's right. Well, you call us 855-450-3733. Is this something you would do to make a little extra cash? What is your price? 855-450-FREE or LRN.FM on Skype here on Free Talk Live. So, and of course, those are the ProXPN uh, toll-free call-in line. Uh, yes. And what is ProXPN? Of course, ProXPN is a VPN service. What is a VPN? VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And if you care about your privacy online, and, you know, with the online world being so ubiquitous, I mean, it may as well be your offline privacy as well, <laughs> you want a VPN and you want ProXPN for that VPN. Uh, you can go to ProXPN.com. You can you can download you can try it out for free if you want, but believe me, you're gonna want to get their premium plans. Uh, they're very very inexpensive. You can co- use the code FTL20. You're gonna get 20% off the lifetime of the account. Mm-hmm. This is gonna cost you. You know, we were just talking about taking people out to a coffee shop. This costs as much as a cup of coffee a month. <laughs> I mean, and you like don't one have to cup deal of coffee. Bad conversations. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, really, this and this is a company that is trying to create a freer world. It is a company that is working towards liberty just as much as Free Talk Live and anyone else is. Uh, it's really amazing. You've got to try it out. Uh, again, you get, you know, there's a, a money back, a risk-free seven-day money back guarantee. They also accept Bitcoin. And it's yeah, just- This is a solution to some of the major problems that we talk about all the time on this show with, with internet privacy and freedom. Absolutely. So if you care about your privacy, you want ProXPN, ProXPN.com. All right, Mark, let's go back into this article. You just scratched the surface of this uh, telling us about a website where you can make offers to pay people to go on dates with you. Yeah, so this is the the website. I I guess I'm really talking about this guy whose name is Brandon Wade, and he's built, at this point, he's on his like fifth website, and they're calling this app a website too, I guess. So he's a serial entrepreneur, and he's discovered that you can make money off of basically brokering borderline legal transactions yeah. about uh, that involve sort of sex and yeah. dating yeah this really is a borderline legal transaction right yeah. like so you can pay somebody to go on a date with you you can't pay them to have sex with you but right but if maybe you're, they're just you're if paying you're peeling them. off cash to go to on a date with somebody right everybody knows what the deal is right like we're not I think so. We're not kidding here. I mean, there are actually some sex workers that if you talk to them and please no judgment here absolutely not like I think any transaction that's genuinely consensual is fine. Uh, But they'll say like, well, my clients pay me for my time, but I have sex with them voluntarily. And they also will call, oftentimes they'll call it a date. Yep. That's the terminology they use. Sure. And, you know. I wonder if some of them call it a date just because a date is obviously legal and just they're trying to make it sound like it's more, I don't know, legally acceptable or whatever. I don't know precisely what anybody thinks in those circumstances, but it's certainly a date by the definition. I mean, we all three had a date to be here uh, to do this show. So, I mean, (laughs) (laughs) what's going on in the break? (laughs) So it's just, it's, you know, it's just a, an appointment, right? Yes. And so it was appointment made in most cases shortly before it occurred, Uh but that's fine. Um, You know, whatever the, you know, that, okay. Like I've had dates with people that I've been in relation to, different kinds of relationships with where pretty much the date consisted of sex. <laughs> right. And it wasn't like there wasn't money changing hands, but what's the difference? Really? I've flown across the country for it. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's one of those things, yes, it is. you know, if you want to be badly enough with that particular person, you're mm. willing to, you know, get in a plane and fly away and do it. Mm. Um, so I, 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 you know, I get all that. What my concern is, is, uh, 
I, and I only my I only have a concern for the people involved, right? I, I don't have a concern for the business. My concern for the people involved. This is not, in my opinion, a good way to start out a relationship. And yeah. I got lucky and fell into a great relationship by accident. Mm. My wife and I were taking a class together. We were partnered up partnered up as buddies and. This class wasn't your sort of college class. This was a self-improvement kind of class. It's mm-hmm. called Landmark Education. You can look into it if you want. And we were partners and we would call we were supposed to call each other. Everybody had partners during the class and they were supposed to call each other and create their day. Apparently, that was a maybe that was a weekly assignment or maybe only the rest of the people only did it weekly, but we did it for weeks together. We'd call and create our day to each other and um we'd after class, we go out to. What does that mean to create your day? I, I can't remember precisely, but we had like, these quadrants that we were supposed to come from, okay. and like you know, uh, uh, integrity or uh, like honesty you talk or about whatever. How you're going to live authentically that day, or those something. kind of things. Okay. And you know, some of your goals, and you just talked about you know, you you planned your day from a uh, you know standpoint where you were going to be the best you you could be, that yeah, kind of thing. That sounds pretty. It's powerful, great. yeah. Yeah, it's really powerful, really great thing to do, and we did that for a long time. And we, you know, we after class, oftentimes we'd go out. We'd oh, you know, want to do you want to do this, want to do that, and she was my friend. She's kind of a she was kind of a wallflower. She wasn't the sort that would have stuck out to me. Um, not the kind of woman that I dated at, at that time. And, you know, her integrity as an individual, her competence um, and the way that she went about her life, those things attracted me to her. And so what I ended up with is somebody who's a really good match. Mm. Um, and, you know, the, every relationship's different and those kind of things. What And what my concern is, is that I'm complete. I guess I'm completely incompetent at picking good women for me, and so I'm concerned that people might be going about starting on the wrong foot with a relationship. You know, with this sort of uh, seeking arrangement website. Yeah, I, I guess I maybe feel a little concerned too, but it's not up to me to determine that everybody else is having. It ideal, is not ideal relationships. No, you know? no, it is not. So, like, all we really can do is just talk about it, right? But, but if you, but, but if you have a chance to look at um, relationships, especially from a male point of view, which I uh, happen to have that point of view, you'll often hear men complaining at the end of relationships. She was only about my money, or she didn't care about <laughs> me, and blah blah blah. Sometimes money, women money, money, that stuff, men, stuff, stuff. Men are only. About I've been sex. screwed, and. I wonder how the guys who at their end of this relationship feel, because it seems mm. like that times 10. Yeah, I agree. Let's talk more about this coming up. 855-450-3733 here on Free Talk Live. Still want to get the audience's thoughts. What do you think? Would you pay someone to go out with you? Free Talk Live. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze-drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. I'm David Cordeni, President and CEO of Cigna. We're proud to support the March of Dimes by walking in the March for Babies. It feels great to know that the money we raise funds life-saving research and programs that improve the health of babies. With your help, we can make this year better than ever. Join Cigna and our coworkers across the country in March for Babies to help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthier babies. Start your team today at marchforbabies.org and march to help our babies. Thank you. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidadi. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. 
Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone. 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. That is the Pro XPN toll free call in number here on Free Talk Live, where you are welcome to call us and bring up anything that's on your mind. You can also call us on Skype if you want to get a little better audio quality. And our Skype handle is lrn.fm here on Free Talk Live. Tonight it's me, Stephanie, with you. And Brian. And Mark. And uh, we invite you to connect with us on social media. You'll find our Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus pages, uh, as well as our mailing list where we announce sort of like bigger things uh, about Free Talk Live over at news.freetalklive.com. I want to tell tell you about freedomcam.net. Over there, they have some uh, dashboard uh, cams. Now, they've got some different features, but... Some of the, the the universal features of these dashboard uh, cams over there is is that they're recording outside of the out of the front of the vehicle into the cab and you know consequently out the back of the vehicle your audio the video uh, one of them has a an actual screen where you can see what's going on or do some playback on it if you want to do that another one has some infrared so you can see what's going on at night. And inside the cab, obviously outside the cab, you so hopefully your headlights are working. Mm. Um, and it's really, this is really valuable. Now, by the way, they take Bitcoin over there. So if you're interested in uh, Bitcoins, they can do that for you. But this is really valuable because whether you're in a situation where it's a law enforcement officer who, you know, steps out of line, remembers the story differently than, than you remember, whatever, everybody's better if we're being recorded. Um, or you know, at least it's nice to have the witness to what happened. I have a story about Freedom Cam, actually. What's, what's that? that? I'd love to tell. Sure, um, freedomcam.net. So recently, I was in L.A., and I was trying to get a ride to the airport. I was visiting some friends, and they had gone to work, and I had to catch a plane. Um, so I actually took that opportunity to patronize Lyft, you know, which Lyft is like one of these apps that connects you with a driver. Yeah. And it's like instead of paying for an overpriced taxi, you get somebody to give you a ride. They're very professional. This is my first experience with um, Lyft, but I, I used it and I had a great experience. And I was actually talking to the driver and he um, like he said that he had a camera that he had like rigged up basically in his car. 
And it was basically a still uh, video camera that was recording to some kind of an SD card in a loop or something. And he said that he would, you know, basically manually flip it around if he wanted to switch the view from the inside to the outside. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, you know, it didn't really work that well at night. And he had to, like, hit the button to save the footage if he wanted to have something recorded. Yep. And I said, dude... You got to get a freedom cam. That's like going to be make your life so much easier, you know, because it has the little accelerometer. It comes on when you turn it on. Um, yeah. and, and if there's a bump in the road or whatever, an accident. It um, automatically saves the footage. It, it does all those things. And that's that. Oh, those are the features that I probably should mention more often. But this is what you want is you want something that makes your life better. Not something that not a, not a new hobby that yeah. you're not interested in. And if he did have a freedom cam, he would never have to worry about it. Never have to worry about it again. And that's a really great thing is, is if you're doing this lift stuff. You, what the Freedom Cam is, is it's insurance. It's insurance against yes. you being in an accident and somebody telling a lie about what occurred, uh, a law enforcement officer, uh, you know, telling a lie about what occurred, and in this case, somebody, a passenger in the car telling about a lie about what occurred. Mm -hmm. Because I can tell you, as a cab driver, I was propositioned by more than one time, and if things went differently, maybe the person says, you know, that I tried to touch them in an inappropriate way or whatever. I right. didn't have a camera in that car. Yeah. And it's my word as a convicted felon, but, you know, it's it's no better to be, uh, you know, not convicted at that point. Certainly, it's certainly not good to be accused of these things. And to just to have a video recording of, of what was occurring, you know, really, when did this happen exactly? Mm, yeah. So it's freedom, really valuable. Freedomcam.net is where to go to get one of those. Um Anyway, Mark, let's continue with this story about the website that lets you pay people to go on dates with you. Um, I, I guess to bring it back to like the issue that I see in here, um, I think there were there are people you said in the last segment, Mark, that like you were concerned about people starting off relationships this way. And I agree. But maybe not everybody who's using this is looking for relationships, really. They kind yeah. of just want to get laid. And it's it's unfortunate that they have to go this roundabout route Instead of just directly making a voluntary transaction with somebody else. I, I certainly don't know what happens on these dates, mm -hmm. but apparently the average price of a date is $80 to the woman, the person being mm -hmm. paid. So and mostly the, it's women. That's the average price. Average price. So that means there are some that don't even pay $80. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right. Um, and there's some that pay a lot more. And I don't know if, are we negotiating a higher rate, um, another rate once mm -hmm. we get out? And as I understand, they try to prevent prostitutes from getting on the site in some way. How would that, wow, um, how would that work? Well, I mean, so they, you have to be a, a non-obvious person sex worker is that what you're saying i, I, I guess you um you know i would be amateurish looking or something that's the idea um they, they you know they're, they're, they're apparently they attempt to keep uh prostitutes off the website and i'm not a mm. i'm looking right here is uh how they do it um and you know why it is that they um you know go about it but uh, the guy basically talks about how um uh, you know, relation. He believes dating is a, uh, a superficial relationship, but it so says here that the person who started it believes that dating is a superficial relationship where people are kind of thinly doing this thinly veiled trade of sex for money. Yeah, he's hmm. here's how Wade stops hookers from using his site. We have the Google Images API software, which detects when photos have been copied by someone else. We look at their at what people write in their profiles. What does how does that gonna be help um, be helpful? I don't well maybe if they're like on a website that does offer escorts uh, like more officially known escorts or whatever it would essentially recognize oh hey this is person is actually on this website as so well. if you wanted to be a a, a, a what is it what is the name of this website here again it's a seeking arrangements exclusive prostitutes you could do that but uh, <laughs> yeah uh, I <laughs> thought it was seeking carrots. Uh, the other one is uh, that's carrotdating.com. Oh, carrot that's, 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 that's the, the app, app. Okay. and I I don't like the concept of carrot dating because that makes even less sense to me, which is that you need to have an item like be somewhere between chocolates and jewelry um, that we start. This oh, is the so that's for like items. And then there's a separate website that lets you just pay people straight yeah. out. Basically. Okay. Yeah. Um, All right. You know, I'll, I'll be the vulgar guy here. The, I've paid for prostitutes in the past. Okay. And if I only paid $80, if I pay $200, I can't imagine. I just can't imagine it being that wonderful i i don't i don't know anything like, about you, these arrangements because it's not that i'm unwilling to have done these things it's just that a i'm cheap b i don't want to be in a situation like it all sounds very uncomfortable to me <laughs> right being well, here and drinking a little extra wine just sounds better to me than tr going out and trying to find 
a, a financial arrangement. I just, uh, you know, but I, I mean, don't, I don't I, get I, it. I've I've paid women orders of magnitude yeah. higher than those prices, and, As I understand, and the sex wasn't that great. I've heard so the, like, wh- well, first time sex isn't isn't that great generally anyway. But I've heard that um, you know that. There's no such thing as thousand dollar hookers, only thousand dollar Johns. Is you disagree with? Are you just a Are you just a thousand dollar John? I mean, I don't know. Well, like Brian, first of all, thank you for talking about that because, yep. like, for, you know, you and I have talked about that off the air before, yeah. and like it sounded like you had a pretty good experience. You were in another country, first of all. Where? It's, oh yeah, yeah. Where it's a little more no- normal. Yeah, legal there or not? Uh, I don't. I don't know if I'd use the word legal. Yeah. But, but not, like, not as much of a problem. It's Essentially, there was a menu involved, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's so, awesome. some of these yeah. countries <laughs> where you would essentially go to a restaurant and, uh, like, at the end of the menu, you know, I mean, it, it, in, in America, they have that too, where on the menu there's ads for other businesses. Well, yeah. there were ads for that kind of business. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, did you, like, were you essentially doing something that you couldn't really do, like, or you couldn't really arrange without having professionals involved? No, I, I think it would be easy enough to. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you're saying. Sexual asking, appetite okay. is that what we're talking about here? No, I'm just okay. I'm trying to be coy here, but I'll just say it. Like, okay, basically, <laughs> I said I'd be vulgar, so go ahead. <laughs> basically, from what I understand, Brian kind of got to like pick out women with certain characteristics right. that he liked, right? And have two women come to his hotel room, right? And you know, spend some time with him right. and do certain things, and then I would imagine this is the easiest way, by the way, to get two women to have sex with you at the same time. <laughs> um, I mean, if you were gonna do that. That this is the way well, to go about yeah. doing it. To get two women who have a specific look and who have specific yeah. characteristics and are going to be really excited and into it, I guess. I, I think that probably is the easiest way, right? Yeah, but I, I think I, this what this whole thing sounds. It sounds so. It sounds superficial. Mm-hmm. I agree. Dating in and of itself, I think, to some degree, is a very superficial act, especially today. Yeah, speed dating now. It all can this, be. all these kinds of crazy things. What do you think? Have you ever speed dated? Have you ever hired a sex worker? Let us know what you think. It's Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and help make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com I will never forget the day my son Jeremy told me he hated me and slammed the door in my face. I'm behavioral therapist Janet Lehman. Behavior problems can turn the child you love and your life into a nightmare. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the step-by-step program that shows you how to fix the worst behavior problems and get your child to respect and listen to you again. No matter what the behavior, defiance, backtalk, angry outbursts, disrespect, we can help you stop it. Now you can get the total transformation for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. You can keep it forever for free. Limited number of free programs available. Call now. 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. That's 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American Empire? 
The Empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You're listening to the live Sunday night show. Tonight, it's Stephanie with you. And Brian. And Mark. And you can call us 855-450-3733. Have you ever worked with a, or hired a sex worker? What was your experience with that? I've heard very varied uh, stories from people. And I mean, maybe another question is, you know, what do you think of the whole idea of people selling sexual services? And if you disagree with certain services, you know, what's the line? You know, do you disagree with massages? Do you disagree with yeah, where, like which parts can't they rub? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, because and that's one of the real, you know, the questions here is when when we get down to the mechanics of things, which parts are people allowed to rub and which parts aren't they allowed to rub? Mm-hmm. How much time? How much time and how much money are they allowed to spend together? And when they are together, what are they allowed to do? What are they allowed to talk about? Because in this case, the paying for the date—that's all you're paying for—is talking. I assume most dates include talking. Um, I mean, it's just, that's really what it comes down to. People have uh, elevated the the exact sexual act and to some kind of special thing. And I, you know, it, it, it's just people are allowed to have sex. People are allowed to work for money. Why shouldn't people be allowed to work for, uh, work at, at sex for money? Okay. But then but th- this is the thing. What What's like, what is your goal? You know, what, what, when you, it, when you're, I think too many people conflate a relationship with wanting to have a consistent sex partner. Yeah, I concur okay. with you entirely on this one, Brian. Yeah, and and that's that's my my question is that like okay, if you are just wanting to have sex with somebody, um, you know, well, this may, website might not be a bad idea. Yeah, right? it might not be a bad idea at all. Dating isn't a bad idea if you're looking to have a long term relationship. I don't think dating's like that great of an idea. Well, what do you mean by dating? I mean, it, it really the question is, well, is it, how do you end up? Yeah, let, let me define dating. Yeah. Let me define. So we talked dating. about speed dating in the last segment, right? Let me define dating. And dating is, in my to my mind, dating is you meet someone you have not had a previous relationship, like a friendship, mm-hmm. with this person, and you're just like you're instantly you're you are you are going out. You are you know in in an action of being with somebody that uh, you know that for you've never been romantic with before. for romantic purposes. purposes. Yeah. You are not a friend with this person before. I got okay. you. I don't know what the word would be if this is someone that was already your friend. And then you decide to, you know, we make have started it dating is what the term is. Um, well, I, that's, I guess but I, I, I don't saying. like that term. I don't, I don't like that being used for it. Um, I just I you know, if you're looking to have an actual relationship with somebody, be friends first, be good friends first. A lot uh, of people there's this whole thing about the friend zone, um, which, you know, is this somehow it's bad. It's just a bunch of guys complaining that they can't get laid. I, I often I, I've come to that conclusion to some extent too. Yeah. Uh, the, the narrative was so strong in the past that I tended to believe it, mm-hmm. but I tend now to, 
to believe sort of otherwise is that either a you haven't been bold enough to make your intentions known yeah or i think there's sometimes is that lack of response lack of taking responsibility for hey i like this person but i haven't expressed my feelings to them oh what a b word she's put me in the friend zone you know <laughs> like but when they haven't been clear about their intentions for that yeah. relationship in high school i guess i kind of felt this to some extent but women in high school tend to put out less um i mean they just they've they're, they're carrying all that bag is mm-hmm. that essentially before your 18th birthday, you know, you're not supposed to do anything and below your 21st, you you should do it, but you should feel bad or whatever. I mean, there's this whole stuff <laughs> out there. I don't think you're supposed to stop feeling bad at your 21st. I have no <laughs> idea. Well, yeah. how could you stop yeah. um, at that point? As, you know, you're, you're half your life is, uh, you know, used up at that point feeling bad about your sexuality. I wouldn't doubt that for a second. Oh, yeah. So I, I get it, but... Uh, you know, it seems like in, in in high school, I'd be often like, this relationship isn't progressing as quickly as I'd like it to. But I tend to think that those relationships tend not to progress as quickly as I'd like them to. Anyway, but that's how I sort of believed the narrative. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's why I believe that sort of narrative about the friend zone. Mm. But after, you know, I just, there's no way I'm going to get put in the friend zone because, Brian, mostly what I did is I didn't have long-term friends i'd uh, you know, be moving to places and right. meeting people mm-hmm. and uh, yeah i want to have a romantic relationship so let's go um you, you let's get this started <laughs> let's get this jump started and on the way <laughs> you can't and i was really successful at it <laughs> in the friend zone if you actually talk honestly about the status of your relationship though you know what i mean like if you keep checking in with each other, it like, well, that's it. The guy's not saying what he actually wants out of the right. Whatever and, and the he's relationship, not taking responsibility for the sure. fact that he's not being honest about what well, he actually wants. And you know, like m- most of my, actually, pretty much all of my uh, long-term relationships have started out like as a friendship first because I just want to get to know the person and see if they're. Sane but you wouldn't and say I want to get to know you so that um, I may and I may be interested in dating you in the future. You're more likely to say just yeah, you know, we're friends, and that would be the honest thing for the guy who's got who gets put in the friend zone. Is initially mm-hmm. he would be saying yeah, we're friends, and then maybe he doesn't continue to check in. I on have what actually he- said that, and I have the unique. Uh, kind of perspective of being uh, bisexual, so I'm interested in both men and women. Mm-hmm. And so I've I've had um, guys in the past say I'm interested in you, and I say, well, I don't feel like I know you well enough to know if I'm interested in you just yet. So why don't we hang out for a little while, and then maybe I'll I'll keep you updated <laughs> on how yeah. I feel. So like, did I friend zone him? No, I think I was very honest. No, about- that's as honest as yeah. one could be, and that's yeah. all you could ask for from a situation like that. And that's probably how I would answer the question mm. today. And I've but also- I can tell you my sex drive at 43 isn't what it was at 28. Mm-hmm. And at 28, I'm like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, and this is one of the reasons, Brian, that I think that speed dating is a, a fine idea is because, you know, here you go, you got a room of, I don't know, call them 20 women, and in however long, an hour or an hour and a half, I'm going to spend five minutes with each one of these women, and I'm going to find out out of that room which one or two is the most interesting of those people, and the, the other is going to be... Whoo, do you, do you recognize how insulting that is, though? To, to whom? To, to the women, to Why both of you. Why is it insulting to Because them? it's like, look, I only have five minutes to spend with you. I disagree with yeah. that entirely. <laughs> okay. That's well, the game that we're playing. Yeah, if you're at a bit, I have to well, agree, because if you're at a Bitcoin convention, you have like limited time and all these but people But that's a hookup. That's not, that's not <laughs> dating. That's my point, is yeah. that there's a huge difference between actually having like a romantic relationship and hooking up. Well, mm-hmm. and, but, but Brian, here's what I think that the, okay. what we're having a, the difficult time with is, okay. is that... I think there are a lot of people and maybe even a majority of people who are even married that never really understood how to find the right person. Yes, sure. I yeah. Agree with that. <laughs> and I found it I found them by accident. A sheer luck um managed to find them. And whereas I think some people, you know, develop a better system uh, you know, for finding them, but I can totally see that. Yeah, the world sort of, uh, you know, sort of starts with this dating thing, where it's you know an, an, an intentionally romantic relationship with nef- nothing ever prior to that, no foundation of friendship, mm-hmm. and that you're you're starting down a dangerous path just from there. Especially if you're paying for that date, like this uh, uh, website that we <laughs> we're talking well, about here, the SeekingArrangements.com. Yeah, um, you know. Brian, you were talking about dating before and how you said you didn't like dating. And I just wanted to add something to your definition and see if you agree with this. Um, 
there's somebody named JJ Roberts, and he has this website called Sex 3.0. Okay. Um, where he's st- like, oh, yeah. like 1.0 is the uh, traditional, you know, like monogamous marriage type thing. And like 2.0 is maybe like polyamory. And 3.0 is sort of something. Thrown like- in chipmunks. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but like what he says is that dating is basically auditioning for this role as like the partner. Agreed. You know, like the monogamous partner who eventually the person's going to get sick of them and then maybe they'll start cheating because it's monogamy and you can't like really do things to with other people because that doesn't fit in with the paradigm. Mm-hmm. And so like auditioning for this role that you may not want in the first place is pretty pointless, right? Sure. And then you end up spending a lot of money and effort and sure. energy auditioning to be something that you don't want to be. So he simply says, I don't date. I yeah, just hang out with people. I one hundred percent agree. And this because this, this is this is the thing is now. I mean, I know I know I'm I'm somewhat perhaps somewhat or at least rare in this in that I generally I don't ask people out. You, you know what I mean? I I just don't. And in yeah. fact, I don't I don't like dating either. I don't recall when I ever really did necessarily dating. Um, yeah. And the reason being is that the women I've met I've met because we were in the same place. At the same time, because we had the same exact interests. Yeah. And so there was almost an instant, it eliminated dating in that it said, no, we're both here for the same reason. That must mean we're a lot alike. Or not must, but that, if, that may mean. What if, if say, for instance, your uh, interests tend to be solitary, like coding, for instance? I, I, mm, I you know, I'm thinking example. this this, we, this uh, website, coding in in my sleep. Yeah, um, but even and they I love don't reading work. it. He's married. Yeah, yeah but, well, that's great. David Perry's good for married. him. <laughs> <laughs> but, but even that's not doesn't exist in a vacuum. You have to interact with other people. Uh, but may, maybe the solitary nature of coding could have there, to do with why there's not a lot of uh, women in the tech in tech fields. I, I but that's no, another story. I'm not even going there. there. There's just got to got to be just as many uh, female introverts as there are. Uh, oh, I, I don't necessarily mean the introversion, but mm. anyway. All right, dating, marriage, speed dating, smell dating. We didn't talk about smell that. dating. <laughs> oh, I don't want that. To be. Call us with your thoughts. Eight five five four fifty free. The flooring experts at Lumber Liquidators have over 8 million square feet of top quality flooring that must be cleared out by end of quarter, March 31st. They've got their lowest price ever on hand scraped bamboo for just $189 a square foot and three quarter inch pre finished hickory for an unheard of $259 a square foot. Get free samples at your local store, plus 22 month special financing is available. So go to lumberliquidators.com now to find the store nearest you. Hurry, everything must go by Monday, March 31st. You got to pay attention to the small things, kid. Small things matter. Small problems become big problems. Take a transformer. Rain leaks into a transformer. Insulation system breaks down. Insulation system breaks down. Copper windings overheat. Copper windings overheat. Transformer blows. Transformer blows. Facility goes dark. Facility goes dark. Kid, you don't want to know what happens next. That's why I use Granger. Granger helps keep small problems from turning into big problems. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. When I signed up for the Free State Project, I was excited by the prospect of moving somewhere with other people that had liberty as a goal. When I got here to New Hampshire, I was stunned by the great weather and the natural beauty. The Free State Project is helping to move liberty forward. Want to be involved? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. That's freestateproject.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, March 30th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.82 per ounce. Gold is worth $1,294 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $461. 
Antiwar.com reports on Thursday, Senate Minority Whip John Cornyn blasted the Free Flow of Information Act, a media shield law being pushed by the Senate Democrats, saying it is fatally flawed and contrary to the First Amendment protection of freedom of the press. Senator Chuck Schumer, the main backer of the bill, claims that he already has a filibuster-proof majority that can pass the bill and insists it will protect the rights of certain journalists to gather information. In theory, the bill protects journalists from having to reveal confidential sources, yet the bill only affords this protection to, quote, covered journalists, while being extremely vague over what that means and giving judges considerable latitude to decide who is or is not sufficiently a journalist to have protection under the law. Therein lies the rub. As U.S. law doesn't have any sort of way of deciding who is and is not a quote-unquote real journalist at present, which is by design. The Schumer bill doesn't directly answer the question either, but in giving certain rights to some journalists and not others is setting the stage for a more formal system of picking and choosing which media outlets are sufficiently pro-administration to get their improbateur and a modicum of protection as journalists and which of us are not. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Amagi Metals. When you purchase gold or silver from Amagi Metals using my affiliate link, gold.fppradio.com, you help fund FPP Radio News. Amagi Metals offers beautiful gold and silver rounds and ingots at great prices. Amagi Metals also accepts Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dogecoin, allowing you to convert your cryptocurrencies into precious metals. Shop Amagi Metals online at gold.fppradio.com. That's gold.fppradio.com. The Wall Street Journal reports U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry and his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov will attempt to map out a joint approach to defusing the crisis over Ukraine when they meet in Paris today. The Obama administration hopes to identify areas where the U.S. can work with Russia to stabilize Ukraine's politics and finances while removing any pretext for the Kremlin to hive off more territory from the former Soviet state. One of the biggest challenges facing Washington's top diplomat is what to do about Russia's annexation of Crimea, something that the U.S. does not want to concede as legitimate. Accepting the annexation as the new status quo is the likely price Russian President Vladimir Putin will seek to extract for any cooperation with the West, a precedent U.S. officials worry risk fueling future Russian aggressions. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Coinbase also allows you to buy and sell Bitcoin using a bank account or use their tools to accept Bitcoin as a merchant. I trust Coinbase. You should too. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. A Chinese news agency reports a five-hour gunfight close to Afghanistan's main election office in Kabul ended Saturday evening after Taliban gunmen were killed in the counterattack, according to officials. The Afghan deputy interior minister told reporters near the site five suicide bombers were killed and two policemen were wounded in Saturday's terrorist attack on the Independent Election Commission, or IEC, in eastern Kabul. The attack began at midday after the militant seized a four-story building close to the IEC headquarters and fired several rocket-propelled grenades on the fortified complex besides exchanging a fire with security forces. Afghans go to the polls on April 5th in the country's third presidential and provincial council general elections. The Taliban insurgent group has vowed to disrupt the polls. The officials noted the militants, armed with heavy guns and rocket-propelled grenades, were wearing burqas to pass several security checkpoints. On Friday, two Afghan civilians and five Taliban insurgents were killed after the militants launched an attack on a U.S. guest house in western Kabul. More than a dozen foreign nationals survived the attack and a powerful car bombing. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. 
A report released Tuesday by physicists at Stanford University revealed that the entire known universe from the whole of human civilization to the totality of matter and energy is actually the fictional setting of a cop show called Hard Case. According to authors of the report, existence as we know it was created solely to provide the framework for the primetime drama that airs weekly in a parallel universe and that every historical event prior to the show's September 2008 pilot, including the Renaissance, World War II, Evolution, the September 11th attacks, and the presidential administration of Washington through Clinton never actually happened and are merely part of the elaborate backstory crafted by hard case creator and showrunner Dominic Egan. We used to believe that our universe operated under immutable laws of thermodynamics and gravitational relativity, but now we know everything just comes from the minds of hard cases 12 staff writers. Overall, it seems like a very well-written show. Physicists have theorized that the universe as we know it will cease to exist whenever hard case airs its final episode. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You're listening to the Live Sunday Night Show. With you tonight, it's me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. And the and camera Mark is Cam all is over the place. taking a nosedive. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you want to witness the action live, you can uh, check out cam.freetalklive.com. We've got a live stream there, a video feed of the show, as well as audio, too. And you can also chat with other listeners live as the show happens. I'm sure there's a... Uh, I haven't looked in the chat room, and I never do because I find it distracting, but I'm sure there's probably some lively discussion in there about you can there is they're actually wanting us to stop talking about dating really so, yeah okay well <laughs> it might get feeling their wish. <laughs> <laughs> well uh if you have something else you want to bring up people in the chat or somewhere you know anyone out there listening free talk live is a show where you can call up and bring up anything that's on your mind you can even change the topic so we don't have to keep talking about the same thing Call us at 855-450-3733 or lrn.fm on Skype. We do have a call on the line. Let's talk to Carl listening in Atlantic City, New Jersey on WPGG. Hi, Carl. You're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Uh, my, what's on my mind is the woman captain and the uh, brigadier general. The I woman mean, the three, captain. It was the three You'll have captain. to fill us in on this. Yeah, I think that there was, yeah, there was okay. some. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Well, what happened is uh, this affair started in Afghanistan. She wanted to see a movie in his room, and 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 then she took her top off. She was just uncomfortable. I mean, sometimes those tops can be constricting. It's hot in Afghanistan. Come on. Well, yeah, <laughs> but I think what happened is uh, he was asked under oath how when he knew she wanted to have sex with him, and he said when she took her top off, and he chuckled about that. And, and what I've read it, this affair went on for three years. I mean, he misused his government credit card and visited her in Arizona and Texas. But she, he got drug into all this military stuff with rapes. Yeah, and he was accused of rape and, mm-hmm. with a woman who yeah. he had been dating, and that was not denied. Um, who, who accused is this him? The Petraeus? woman. The woman. This, this, no, no. This is not Petraeus. This is a, a brigade one star general. Okay. Um, who you know this was all brought up on, and and you know the military date the military rape thing is real big in the news. It's real. There's a lot of unreported I, ones. Right. A- absolutely true. But it looked like they were they were ready to to put this guy on the spit mm. and then right. the state the state uh, the, the, the you know the government I don't know the, the prosecutors find out she'd been on dates with him after the incident too. Wow. Okay. Why would she, Wow. Yeah, and she kept texting texting him explicitly. And uh, lying about she was she had immunity and she lied because she said she lost a bone or one a bone and then she found it and all the texts were on it and all that and, and the, you know what the last thing I want to say about it I hope the general's wife because he is married is just understanding as uh, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah. What What do you say about that? Thank you, Carl, for the call. I appreciate your thoughts. 855-450-3733. You know, it's, I mean, this can happen not just in the military, but anywhere. A lot of these, you know, you have uh, like in, in the police force, it's a similar situation. You have your station hookups uh, or you have, um, you Within know, the just, TSA, yeah, or just people dating each other, you know, at a corporate job. Uh, you get it. You end up working on a project with a woman, and next thing you know, you know you're stooping. And I mean, it just it, it happens. And this is this is so kind of. I mean, with the military, it's a little bit different uh, because you're in these very extreme situations where 
you know, I, I think a lot of humanity just ends up going out the door. And that's not an excuse for the actions by any stretch of the imagination. It's not. Uh, but a lot of people, I think, end up getting in, you know, end up even getting married or just having what they consider to what they think to be very serious relationships when they're completely based upon the fact that you're working, both working towards a goal, a job goal that's not actually your own personal life goal mm. and that that is the basis of your relationship and that's an unfortunate thing to base a relationship on that ends um, up being the uh, basis for a lot of friendships too like sure. how many people do you know who just like their friends are just the people they happen to work with it's kind of like high school you know when you go to high school it's just people who happen to be born at around the same year and in the yeah, same right. town as you you and should have interests the same interest as these people right. you've watched the same cartoons growing up um you know, when when you put people together, though, Brian, in a mm -hmm. workplace, they're going to want to touch each other's parts because they're going <laughs> to they see the parts on display and they're going to want to touch the parts. Quotable moment. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I mean, to some extent, I agree with you that maybe that this isn't the foundation for a relationship, but it's reasonable that this is going to happen. And sometimes the you know even the relationship, like I had a gal who I worked with at a uh, radio in a radio situation, and she's like, I won't. Tell your girlfriend. I went. I shouldn't have gone out to a parking lot with her at all. Wow. But I, you know, she asked me to walk her out to her car. I should have just said no. Mm -hmm. But in that circumstance, she's like crawling on me and kissing on my face and stuff and trying to get me to, um, you know, she's trying to get me interested, right? And she's like, I, we, we can just do whatever. She'll never know. I will. I'll never tell her. And I wasn't gonna do that. Wow. But I, you know what? I, I already compromised by having walked out the door. And I realized that for myself afterwards is like, look, man, you got nothing to say about how good and pure you are because you didn't do that that moment in time. Yeah. <laughs> You walked out there knowing that this woman was interested. Walked her to her car. Oh, I shall be gallant and walk you to your car. You should have got somebody else to walk her to her car, pal. <laughs> well, all right. I'm not saying it's not a good foundation for sex. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not a good foundation for a relationship. Um, but I mean, as far as like with the military, I, you know. Why does this person have government credit cards that he can book his own flights on? He's I mean, a general. Like, they can do anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's the point. Like, why does he have so much power to like just spend well stolen money? You want? I mean, and kill you, people. The, and well, order the, people to kill people. The fact is, is that um, you know, if if you can't trust a general to handle his own finances, you can't trust the captain that you put in charge of his finances either. That's the fact. You Absolutely. Know, they have to be you. You either you have to trust employees with finances. So people give employees credit cards all the time. The government he is an employee but these of the are government. Not really employees in the sense that like they're not doing a productive act. They're like they're doing something at the behest of the government, which is going to foreign wars and you're just, destroying things and killing people. You're going you're, you're going after the job description, not the possessing of a credit card. I'm just saying that the possessing of a credit card by somebody that you work for. And I do think that a security agency is a um, is a is an organization that uh, produces something of value. Mm -hmm. It has just been misused in the foreign. They're wars not security though. They're offense. They're they're not defensive anymore. They're totally offensive. And I mean that that seems obvious. But private companies, like every company that I've worked for, where I've had access to a corporate credit card or whatever. Mm -hmm. They have procedures to audit and make sure that every purchase is legit and that every purchase is going towards something that's approved by, you know, it, it has to be approved by multiple people and it gets checked and it can't be over a certain size and whatever. And like when the abuses happen, you have to think like, what are the auditing procedures? And there are none because it doesn't matter. They have an unlimited source of other people's money that they can take by taxation. Oftentimes, um, when you're talking about other organizations, for instance, the business office would have handled this at a radio station. Uh, the people that work under the business office are in a completely different department than the people who work in, say, sales and might have this, uh, this credit card that you're talking about. When it comes to the military, a general is always over a captain. And that general can ruin any captain's career any time. When you've got a, uh, a flag officer that is after your butt, you're screwed. Yeah. So you have a completely different sort of hierarchy going on in the military than you do elsewhere. So, yes, you have to give generals credit cards to be able to do their jobs efficiently. And, yes, there's going to be abuse. And it's un un really unfortunate because of the hierarchical rankings of um, the way that militaries and um, you know are, are designed. Mm. Yeah. It's an old French system that really makes no sense and is nearly, <laughs> nearly, I've heard defenses that I'm like, huh, okay.
nearly indefensible <laughs> the way that uh, military ranks are designed. I mean, you know, the, the person who's qualified to be a general isn't the person that's qualified to be a captain. It's a complete, it, it, I mean, it, it, they may not have even supposed to have been doing the same job. Mm. 855-450-3733 is our number here on Free Talk Live or call us on Skype at LRN.FM. You guys, we were talking about uh, speed dating at the end of the last hour, and I mentioned smell dating uh, quickly. Did you guys want to talk about that or know what it is? No. Just real quick. Well, you get, uh, you don't want to talk You're going to read about it? No, I was just going to tell you what it is. Okay. I, heard, I saw an article once. Smell dating? Okay. I'll, I'll listen to it. it. Yeah. So, like, you know, people have a scent, right? So you sleep in a t-shirt for a couple days, put it in a bag, and then people, like, go and smell them and decide if they want to meet you. Ah! you're on free talk live call in make mark scream (laughs) this is free talk live the sunday show are you tired of governments murdering people around the world stop using their money there is an alternative bitcoin is a stateless free market non-political currency bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government by using their money you are helping the state stop doing it you have an incredible alternative available now learn it use it spread it get started with bitcoin at weusecoins.com that's weusecoins.com hey it's guy fieri if there are good times going on and you're not part of them because of heartburn get back in the game by rolling out the roll aids don't let heartburn keep you from enjoying the things you love. Rolaids gets you back in the action fast. Its dual active formula neutralizes more acid than Tums. For acid indigestion, upset stomach, and heartburn, get rapid relief with Rolaids. R O L A I D S? Now that's how you spell relief. Use as directed. Acid neutralization may not correlate with symptom relief. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us The future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Do you ever say, I could care less, when you really mean the opposite? You mean to say, I couldn't care less. It's a common mistake. You are judged by how you speak, especially if you're looking for work with so many more applicants than openings now. But even if you're not, avoiding common misstatements will help you make the most of the dozens of conversations and transactions that crowd your daily routine. So whatever you say, don't say whatever as a single word sentence. It's the most annoying expression in the American English language, according to a recent poll. And avoid cliches like the plague. Just kidding. But seriously, at the end of the day, you'll want to avoid this scenario, sounding like everyone else. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. 
This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is the Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. With me, Stephanie, and Brian, and Big Daddy Rhino Schwanz. That's right. (laughs) Mark really loves to be called that, so if you call in, you can say hi to him. Oh, that's all right. I I have names that are much better for myself. uh, (laughs) Never mind. So Uh, now now the story has to come out. This happened. I had a friend, and she was somewhat gullible and amusing to watch in certain circumstances. Uh, She was yakking away in the car, and I... uh, you know, to a, the, the gal I was dating at the time, mm-hmm. um, I got her phone. I put my phone number in, which hadn't been in it before, and I type in um, big, uh, Daddy Big Schwantz, right? <laughs> um, and then after she finishes talking, telling her little story and flitting her hands about or whatever, I wait, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. And, um, you know, she's got her, I've got her, got her phone back to her, um, you know, and when she's sort of distracted. And then I, I call... <laughs> her phone from my phone and don't actually pick it up. She's just looking at the name. <laughs> she just doesn't understand how this name could come up on her phone. It's Daddy, Daddy Big Schwantz. How in the world? I must have been really drunk the other night. <laughs> That's a great story. It was story. priceless to see her face. She was just completely confused. <laughs> All right, well... If you have something priceless to say, you can certainly call us at 855-450-3733 here on Free Talk Live or LRN.FM on Skype. Leader Amp. Um, it is a, well, it's an app that they're, that's being developed right now. And a program that, that has an app, I suppose, is uh, the way to describe it. And Dr. Matt Barney, who is the founder of Leader Amp, has uh, coached and taught thousands of successful leaders around the world for the past 20 years and u- using methods that have been tested to work. And this is really important because lots of the methods in, say, being more uh, convincing in um, development, lots of these messages just hoke them. But, yeah, they're not really based on evidence. Yeah, right. Right. So you use the best evidence you can create and you use the best systems that work with the, you know, that, that produce the best evidence. And that's what Leader Amp is. It, and also, it a, sort of rates you and how good you are as far as uh, convincing people. Because this is ultimately what huh. you're trying to be. So when they, they rate you, they also put you, show other leaders sort of historical, just to, I guess kind of show you where you are and to show that nobody's perfect. That's and interesting. That you can get better and that we can all develop our ability to be more convincing either in the workplace or your personal life or wherever it is you want to you want to have sort of more power. Did you get to try this? I have already signed up. Mm-hmm. I, you know, the, the program is just basically to you're signing up to, to get the program. And I'm going to go out on a limb developed. and say that Mark is a better leader than Abe Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> FDR. Maybe so. <laughs> but you got to get to where you're going. So leaderamp.freetalklive.com to sign up like I have. Leaderamp.freetalklive.com. All right. Cool. Well, I think we're going to change topics because we've got some other stuff we want to talk about tonight besides dating, but you're certainly welcome to call in about anything that's on your mind at 855-450-3733 here on the Sunday Free Talk Live show. Um, Brian, you had a story about a program called Memex, which the NSA is uh, starting up to have like a personal search engine for the internet. Well, tell it's, me more about that. Yeah, it's actually DARPA is the one starting it up. Ah, uh, uh, the folks behind OKCupid. Okay, does, does DARPA <laughs> scare the rest of you as much as it does me? Yeah. This oh, yeah. seems to be the most one of the most efficient government agencies out there, and they come up with some really neat and cool stuff. And some terrifying stuff. Well, but yeah, but the the government government being efficient 
and cool. These are positive descriptions of a government agency, and I find this to be petrifying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, attract, I, <laughs> they do attract like smart people who are just mistaken about you know politics and and like who they're working for basically. But sure, yeah. yeah I mean, DARPA's come up with some pretty scary things: uh, gay bombs. Yeah, the uh, microwave thing that fries your skin or feels like it's frying. Yeah, the, the sensor dust. I mean, just all kinds of really far out, yeah. you know, really, it sounds science fiction, you know, but they actually would, would develop it. So, right. What you, hold on. What you're talking about, Stephanie, is this sort of this this gun, this cannon. It's a crowd control device. Right. It's a crowd control device yeah. that basically makes you feel incredibly uncomfortable to the point that if you stay in it, you will feel like your skin's on fire. Mm. But it doesn't harm you, most people Physically, right? right? Uh And so you've got a situation going where you've created this device that sounds for all the world as, uh, this is a great device, right? Like, we're not talking about water cannons, which can kill people here. We're not talking about tear gas grenades, which harm people all the time. We're not talking about all kinds of crowd control devices, which are likely to kill people. Mm -hmm. But... It's it's a very effective crowd control device, and that's really sort of one of the problems with it is is that it it seems so harmless, but it's so efficient. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely not something you want to give to a tyrannical government, which, quite frankly, what government isn't. So that's mm. kind of the problem. Um, but anyway, th- this is uh, this is pretty interesting. It's from RT. Uh, DARPA is developing an ultimate web search engine to police the internet. Okay. So the Pentagon's research arm that uh, fosters futuristic t- technology, of course, that being uh, DARPA, um, they, they have current, uh, let's see, the military will soon be working to surpass current capabilities of commercial web search engines like Google. So uh, yet once it masters the deep web, the agency doesn't say much about what comes next. Uh, DARPA said its Memex project will be able to search the far corners of the internet of internet content that is uh, unattainable by modern mainstream search engines. Far reaches of the modern internet that is unattainable by current search engines. That kind of, did I basically get the idea right? I, I know yeah. I mixed up some ad- adjectives so, there. Okay, so this would be like stuff that people want to be private that doesn't show up in search results in Google. Yeah, essentially. Uh, you know it. it what what they're going to be? I mean, I can read on more here yes, because uh, let's do that. yeah, yeah. Um, so DARPA offering DARPA t- uh, technological superiority in the area of content indexing and web search on the internet. DARPA said earlier this month in its solicitation announcement to Memex proposals that the system will uh, initially be used to counter human trafficking, which often thrives in web forums, chat rooms, job guys? postings, hidden services, and other websites. And right, exactly. They got to come up with the worst possible thing. Yeah, so nobody will argue against it. And then right. they start creeping, mission creep comes in, and they start using it for everything eventually, right. and people don't realize it. Well, uh, so... What they're saying is, is they're going to create a better search engine than Google, and unless you're talking about the deep web being people's, uh, you know, Google already searches forums and stuff. Right. I, mean, I get a lot of forum. But even the well, way unless this you're talking art- about people's emails, even and stuff. the way the article was written, though, I think you, I think they are talking about people's emails, and they're talking about well, Tor, and they're talking about things that you want to keep private, and you wouldn't want to show up in a Google search. Well, let's, they're not going to be able to outperform Google, is what I'm saying. Is that the, at this point, Yahoo, Lycos, Big Eye, and the variety of other <laughs> uh, you know but search engines. It's not engines. doing. It's not for you. It's for them. Is well, that let, right? Let's read the next paragraph because okay. mm. uh, this, this gives a little more insight uh, to root out trafficking operations within the invisible corners of the web commonly referred to as the deep web uh, memex which is a melding of memory and index uh, will address the inherent shortcomings of centralized search by developing technology for domain spe- specific indexing of web content and domain specific search capabilities so this is essentially i mean like like google can't really search facebook Okay, right. like like Facebook yeah, posts. True. Okay, Google can't search these things, and so what Memex is going to be able to do is you take you pick, you know, you pick the the website, and it will actually be able to search all of that by its own algorithm, and it won't have to, it doesn't have to do what Google does, where it centralizes everything and puts it all in, you know, gotcha. a centralized algorithm. Mm. Scary stuff. What do you think? Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. 
Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Free Talk Live. If I were a parent, and I am not. Mark, you are. I am not. Uh, But if I were a parent, then I would be teaching my kids the difference between right and wrong based on whether or not people get hurt. Not whether or not some elected official has written some words down on a piece of paper and deemed something to be illegal. There have been so many things over the history of time that have been labeled as illegal. It was legal to shoot engines in this country. Did that make it right? Legal and illegal, right and wrong. These things do not correspond here in America. It, they rarely correspond, as a, as a matter of fact. Anywhere. Yeah. Now, there are some things that are illegal that are absolutely wrong, sure. like murder or arson or destruction of property or However, stealing. However, it's also illegal to not pay taxes to the federal government. Is that wrong? Absolutely not. It That's is heroic. right to keep the money that you earn. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. The warning signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me, provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me, about my job, my kids' education, my money my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis? Battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You're listening to the live Sunday night show, and we're so glad to be here with you tonight. We is me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. Free Talk Live is a show where you can call up and bring up anything that's on your mind at 855-450-3733. That is, of course, the ProXPN toll-free call-in line. You can also call us on Skype at lrn.fm. Just send us a contact request, and we will hook you up. You know, I never considered myself to be a coffee snob. Um, but 
I we recently we recently in the last few months brought on this. Uh, it's not really an advertiser. We partnered with Buzzbox Coffee to bring uh, micro loans to people around the world that need them. And what Buzzbox does is is that they provide high end organic shade grown coffee to you. Uh, on a monthly program, and you pay for it and schedule the times and every in the coffee. Your coffee problem is just taken care of because they're providing you great coffee without you having to think about it any longer. And that's a great program. But one of sort of the drawbacks is is that today I had I didn't get my I just didn't have time to make coffee. I felt I should have done it, but I didn't didn't have time to make coffee. And I grabbed some from a you know a local you know one of these chain purveyors Uh-oh. of coffee. <laughs> it's like God. This stuff just isn't as good as it used to be. <laughs> Mark's been spoiled. I've been spoiled. <laughs> Buzzbox Coffee is great. And you can go get a free pound of coffee from coffee.freetalklive.com. That's coffee.freetalklive.com. And Buzzbox allows you to try out the pound, see if you like it. You get on the, the program ahead of time, but you can cancel um, after the first shipment. It's coffee.freetalklive.com. Yep, the first one is free, right? That's right. You do have to pay the shipping on that first one, Joe. Mm. So thanks for the opportunity do, on that. Do they offer, uh, what, is, what is it called, uh, Copy Luwak? I don't know what that is. Is this the stuff that has gone through some rodent? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I've never had any interest in in that sort of stuff. I think that might be something you have to uh, to get um, specialized. There's some know wild answer. stuff. There is wild stuff in the yeah, world, my friend. That... Yeah. <laughs> I, here's, here's what I can tell you is that they, they only offer two types in the free section, mm-hmm. and one of them isn't decaf. So <laughs> right. you they they they're, they're two sort of most popular types are offered in the free area and then after that you can get all the specific stuff. So I didn't I couldn't enjoy that first uh, you know shipment of coffee because I'm not I I took a sip I had a, about a quarter cup of coffee to try it out and it was good but I can't drink more than a quarter cup of coffee without freaking out <laughs> and that's why I um you know have to get the decaf but the decaf's excellent. Are you able to find out, like, is there a way to keep um, prog- posted on the progress of the micro lending project on their website or something? No, you kind of, uh, you're outsourcing the micro lending oh, to, gotcha. uh, to BuzzBox too. And I think that the fact is, is it's micro lending's interesting because I do do micro lending through Kiva. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. That's how I found out about Kiva actually was from you. So. And I like it for that reason that you can kind of look at these folks. But honestly, you and I are aren't qualified to decide who the best recipients of our microloan money are. We're just people on the internet kind of looking at stuff and saying, oh, yeah, he looks like a hard worker. Click, you know. (laughs) I I disagree with that. I think we are good. You know, like you are always the best person to spend your own money. Um, But, you know, like it's probably enough for most people to know that it is going, you know, they're doing a micro lending project and they're supporting that in some way by buying the coffee yeah. and also getting coffee. You're too. outsourcing it to professionals, I guess is what I should say. Gotcha. All right. Let's talk to Mike listening in Maryland on the internet. Hi, Mike. You're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind tonight? Yes, I thought I'd talk about uh, prostitution for some strange reason. My ears perked up mm-hmm. when you brought up that topic. Okay. Uh, some people would say that uh, prostitution is the ultimate uh, free enterprise type of uh, sales because because uh, they engage in the wholesale business. Drum roll, please. I don't get the it. Wholesale God, business. I don't get wholesale, it. Wholesale, H O L E, not oh. W. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, that was pretty good. Man, <laughs> got gotcha. real table of real, I love real, a good real panel of geniuses we got here. Only Brian. <laughs> hey, I figured it out. <laughs> Okay, but seriously, folks. <laughs> <laughs> flew in last week. <laughs> well, my my experience with prostitution is t- tangential at best. I was stationed in Germany in the Army. And Germany, uh, this is in the early 70s, so I'm an old dude here. Okay, <clears throat> but, and, uh, you know, uh, ger- as you probably well know, prostitution in Germany is, is legal. The red light and, district. Uh, I'm sorry? The red light district. <laughs> Brian yes, knows it well. that's right. <laughs> and I was in the uh, ASA Army Security Agency. So we were, I don't like to say we were elite, but you at least had to have some college education or at least scored high on the aptitude test like I did, which would qualify me as college educated to get a top secret clearance. So we were, you know, a little bit above, you know, the average GI, which probably isn't saying a whole lot. But at any rate, though, we, they had this red light district nearby, and this I know this is a derogatory term, and I'm not trying to slight anybody, 
but they called it Pig Alley. Well, so, who are the pigs? The customers or the sex workers? Or the cops? Well, yeah, that's a yeah, that's or the cops. That's, that's that's what they refer to as the sex workers. I know it's crude, oh. but I'm just being honest here and yeah. upfront. That's what they called it. Right. And so my friends and I, we would get drunk and or stoned, usually both. Mm. And we would go down to this red light district, and uh, we would just talk trash to the prostitutes. Mm. Not insult them, but just just talk nonsense. And occasionally one of, one of our, our... In German or English? In, I'm sorry? Did you speak German or English? Well, most Germans speak English. And yeah, they speak Russian. it better than most people that speak English. <laughs> I, I've got it on speakerphone now. It's easier for them to talk. Uh, is, is the voice okay? It's not yes. bad, actually. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, it's just easier for them to talk. So at any rate, though, you know, uh, this is. I, mean, I had a great time in Germany. I had a top secret clearance. Uh, I I got drunk every weekend. I mean, I saw. <laughs> Great rock concerts. I saw the Rolling Stones for the Goat's Head Soup Tour. I, I went to uh, Germany, and all I got was this 12-step program. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it, and, you know, all of us on a top secret clearance, too. And, and how I got out without any getting into trouble, I'll never know, because we got into all kinds of mischief. Mm. So one of our group would go in and see the prostitute, and he would get some revving over it. And, um, you know, German bars, you know, uh, pornography is widespread. I also heard that in Germany it's a common practice for a German to rent his wife out for the weekend. Wow. And uh, I know people yeah, wow. that are What does the wife think about that? <laughs> I'm curious. Yeah, I know. And so I know libertarians have a, seem, seemingly have a anything goes attitude, legalize virtually everything. And I don't know, it, it kind of opens up a Pandora's box. Oops, maybe that's not the right term to use. <laughs> <laughs> have you got these written down? Go ahead. <laughs> But but it, but it kind of I don't know I, just as a Christian I, I, I'm uh, prostitution is uh, anathema to my beliefs and this, this wait I have a question a real quick Mike ago. did you ever actually were you just talking smack to the prostitutes or did you go and yeah yeah my visit friends them? would just go there we just talk trash to them but no but and, like uh, other like people would, yeah your friends would see them right. Yeah, yes, okay, yeah, some of them would, yes. Did you ever do that? Uh, no, I never did. Uh, somebody described uh, the pro- you know, a visit to a prostitute as equivalent to wearing somebody's dirty underwear. Mm. Yes, well, but, um, uh, that's I... How a friend of mine described it. Uh, but at any rate, though, uh, this was a news article in uh, the German Der Spiegel, I think, uh, a number of years ago, where this woman was on unemployment for a number of years. So her unemployment benefits were either getting lower or running out. So the government suggested to her that she become a prostitute. Wow. And, and this is coming from the government officials. Wow. So, hey, you, you can always get a job being a hooker. Yeah. So, uh, the, like she doesn't know about that. Or that, that. They can open up when, when prostitution is legal. I'm not sure what what happened as a result of that, but it got some press, needless to say, bad press. I saw this documentary uh, last a year or two ago about it was about prostitution and in various parts of the world and 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 I, I didn't uh, I didn't see the move the documentary as a, as a kind of a deep thrills voyeuristic kind of thing but it's just it's just tragic to see these women and in the, in the case of India. Yeah, oftentimes it is tragic. I would concur with you. It's not the... Not always, but yep. sometimes it can be. And there's lots of different types of sex workers. Some are But you really can look at the Bunny Ranch, um, that, that, uh, that yeah. reality show in the Bunny Ranch, and some of those gals aren't tragic. More coming up. Thanks, Mike. This is Free Talk Live. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs... You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said... Uh, A lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because... I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. 
Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free, 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. If you are like most people, chances are you're malnourished. Most people do not get the 90 essential nutrients the body needs to survive. This lack of nutrition can lead to all sorts of health issues. If you don't feel as good as you'd like, or if you're looking to get a jump start on a new, healthier you, Longevity has your answer. With the Healthy Start Pack, you get all the nutrients your body needs. With all 90 essential nutrients and 115 fruits and vegetables, you get a supplement system that is antioxidant rich and beyond compare. The Healthy Start Pack includes products backed by 40 years of science and millions of dollars in research, like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, EFA Plus 90, and OsteoFX Plus. To order your Healthy Start Pack today, call 607-739-5595. Again, that number is 607-739-5595. Once you start taking the Healthy Start Pack, you will see and feel why our motto is 90 for life. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. In every age, a technology is created that upends the foundations of society. The wheel, the printing press, the internet. Now, in a world sliding into financial chaos, a new technology is changing the way monetary systems work around the world. It is called Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a new form of money controlled not by banks, governments, or corporations, but through mutual commerce between free individuals. To learn more, visit WeUseCoins.com. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. And yes, we are live on the air on Sunday night. Give us a call at 855-450-3733 and bring up anything that's on your mind. Even if it's completely different than what we've been talking about, you're welcome to change the subject. That's why we call it Free Talk Live. And you can also, by the way, call us on Skype by adding our Skype handle, lrn.fm as a contact and uh, then making a call once we accept your contact request. Yeah, actually, there's a little bit of a tutorial to this. If you've got Skype on your regular computer, you just go sort of above the list of names. There's a place where you can search and you type in lrn.fm with that search and then it'll say lrn.fm isn't on your uh, you know username list. Surprise, we knew that. Um, <laughs> and then you say, okay, and they'll ask you if you want to search sort of greater um, the greater uh, Skype universe and you'll say yes. And then when you do, We'll come up, and you'll click yes, and at that point, it'll send us a contact request, and it'll have verbiage in there that you've already, you, you can say other things, but it already has sort of pre-printed verbiage, and you just say yes, and it'll send it to us, and we'll accept it, and then go from there. Cool. Well, that sounds good. And of course, our uh, phone lines and Skype are sponsored by ProXPN. We love them. They're a wonderful VPN provider, and you can check them out at ProXPN.com. 
Uh, okay, speaking of technology stuff, can we go back to talking about Memex, which is this Yeah, proposed, absolutely. It's this project. Okay, so this is what I understand about it from what we talked about a little earlier in the last segment. Um, it's DARPA, and they're building a um, new kind of search engine, but it's not for you. It's only going to be for them, and it's going to be able to search things that aren't searchable with, like, Google, for instance, so, like, private Facebook posts and probably your emails yeah. and stuff that's on tour. And Because the- if you're going to try to search, say, my um, you know Free Talk Live's uh, Facebook page for some kind of incriminating post, now, I don't know precisely what an incriminating post is, and that's one of the problems with uh, this whole you know, operation is you don't know what the government's looking for. But there are a lot of posts, and so some individual would have to you know, page through one at a time on each one of these posts, and it's only going to be as fast as Facebook allows it to be or whatever. So what they need is a system to sort of go through and look for keywords and that kind of thing, mm-hmm. and Google doesn't have that. Right. They're, they're creating something similar to Facebook's graph search which really lets you do a very, a very deep search. Like, I mean, and, and you get to use a, a lot of easier keywords. I mean, right now with Google, as hard as they're trying to make it work like the Star Trek computer, uh, you still have to kind of be a little bit of a search ninja, you know, to really get what you want really, really fast. And so Memex is going to, you know, eliminate that, that problem. Uh, much like Facebook graph search has now, Facebook graph. You'd probably graphs- be able to search through Facebook like PMs and secret groups and things like that with Memex, right? If Possibly Facebook, if Facebook gave them the back door. Oh, yeah. uh, is that even a question? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Zuckerberg Zuckerberg is kind of you know getting in uh, Obama's face and asking him questions, right? I actually liked that he did that. I don't know that that means he wouldn't hand over the keys yeah. essentially he may or may not be a dupe for the government but at the very least he's putting up a front that makes me like yeah i like this dupe better than most dupes oh yeah i liked his reaction better than any other companies uh that's in fact something i said on my own show on on sovereign tech i said i was like look if google was actually if they gave a damn about your privacy they would have hopped on a jet and flown right to the white house and said what are you guys doing well google's you talking know? about encrypting their emails so the government can't yeah. search them yeah I feel like Google cares, too. They just have a different system. You really think going and talking to a politician, remember this means liar, um, and uh, you know, asking them for demanding the, the, the liar that is the, uh, the successful enough to get into the White House, you know, come up with a lie that's good enough to make you feel better right in front of you. I, I don't think that that well, is, they were already, does anything. They were pandering to the government to create consumer confidence by saying, let us release more information of what exactly you've asked for us. Yeah. So if, every, if their action is, okay, we recognize consumers have lost has lost they've lost confidence in our system we need to take every action we possibly can to resume that confidence i think what zuckerberg did that gave me i mean i don't have any more confidence in facebook but i definitely felt a lot better about zuckerberg saying yes this is exactly what a guy should do he should get on the phone call up you know the quote unquote leader of the free world and say hey what are you doing to my system you know what is this i mean at least even make it look good in the minds of uh of you know people, I mean, this is marketing tricks. That's all, yeah. that's all it is. It, it, yeah. it, it so, could be one or the other, but I agree with you. It looks pretty if, good. Even if Mark Zuckerberg didn't want to have the government be able to access Facebook, it doesn't necessarily matter what he thinks, right? Like he yeah. could be coerced. He could be infiltrated by government workers that are like getting jobs at Facebook sure. and secretly building in back doors. Or sure, or Google, or I mean, you know, the NSA will just do what they did to Google and Yahoo, where they'll 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 literally splice into the hard line yeah. of their servers without their supposedly without their knowledge and just do it. Um, but I mean, none of these companies, you know, I mean, this is a little off topic, but none of these companies really, I don't feel they care um, about, about, they can't care about privacy. Ultimately, I agree with you that they cannot care about yeah, privacy. I mean, right. because especially if they're ad funded, they don't have a choice. They have to know they can't do like if Google really wanted to encrypt emails, they could do it right now with technology has been around for 30 years. No problem. Instantaneous. It wouldn't take them long to set it up at all. But they can't do that because yep. they have to know what you are, you know, what you're interested in. Well, otherwise, they can't push their ads. They draw you in. Like, for instance, um, I know that Start Page is coming up with a new sort of private email that's going to be encrypted or whatever. And yeah, I, it's in I'm beta. interested in that. And I often use startpage.com as a search engine. Sure. And they have a lot of the value that a VPN has sure. um, in many different ways. They're certainly not a VPN, but they have some value. And I, but one of the things is, is I've got my telephone number through Google Voice. Oh, yeah. And I've got my email, um, marketfreetalklive.com, is routed through 
Gmail. Google apps, yeah. yeah. Right. And so I have no clue how to extricate myself from the 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 the, the, the hydra that is, is oh, Google. Yeah. And now if you try, that means you're antisocial and there must be you must have a personality disorder. Have you heard this? Like there are I've, lots I've heard of, that. Yeah. I, lots I, of people I, saying that if you don't have a Facebook page or something Since the uh, since what happened with with since the Snowden release, I don't think that's the case anymore. Mm -hmm. um, that was inform you know, what you're talking you're referencing a sort of a study um, from prior to Snowden. And I think a lot of people are, are more concerned about uh, privacy on the internet than they were in the past. Yeah. But like, it's getting even harder to use fake names and stuff because Facebook will shut Facebook down. Facebook hates fake names. Yeah. yeah. yeah Google and Plus, one, that's actually one of the few things that will get your Google account uh, disabled is if yeah. you use a fake name. So, I mean, of course they have to prove it first, right? And they haven't, as far as I know, they haven't gone after a whole lot of people. Actually, they did go after Violet, Violet Blue. Blue. Who is she's a uh, technology writer? No, she, she's a hacker. Yeah. I mean, she's the real deal, and uh, and they they you know she's very famous, and they shut her down. <laughs> you know, and it's unbelievable. Her real name, Violet. Yeah, that's her real name. Oh, really? Oh, that's interesting. It sounded for all the world like uh, what she did, uh, what she used when she did porn. Yeah. The, um, <laughs> you know, I, I I'm. I just don't even know what you can take away. I imagine Google Voice doesn't let you take the number. They don't want you to get away from their grasp. So right. once you've taken the candy, you're in the van, and, right? And <laughs> where are you going? Like, I mean, there's no better option, really. Like, are you going to port it to Verizon or AT&T? You can go to, you know? uh, well, I could go to StartPage and use there. If I, I think I could take marketfreetalklive.com and reroute it through StartPage, and that would be fine. Of course, they'd still have all my old emails yeah. on Google, and I, if I wanted to look through something, I'd have to go back over there, which is certainly inconvenient. Um, I don't even know how you'd go about downloading all your yeah. years and years worth of emails from there. But a telephone number that I got from Google Voice, now you really are stuck with them, because that's their phone number. Mm. And porting a number away from Google, that's got to be tough. Well, it's not. It's actually not that bad to do, but I will say, I mean, and I don't mean to sound fatalist, but really with, with something like Memex... Be becoming in, in existence, uh, any any spying, any privacy issues you have with Google really become pretty meaningless. Really? Uh, because, I mean, Memex can just do it all, you, you know, and, and you could say, well, Google's going to encrypt stuff. And again, that becomes, that's a different topic. But so just- Brian, like, let me ask you this. Do you think they, they actually can do that? Like, do they actually have the technological capability to do this and pull it off? They're working on it. I mean, as far as like being able to search Tor, DuckDuckGo can do that, which yeah. is great. That's why I love using DuckDuckGo uh, because yeah. it lets you search the hidden web. You know, I didn't know that you could t search Tor at all. I, yeah. I didn't either, actually. Yeah, Duck, I'm not a Tor user, so right. DuckDuckGo can can do it. I mean, you're not like DuckDuckGo doesn't isn't going to search uh, forums per se, and that's why something like Memex would be quote unquote necessary. Um, but uh, you know, you, you can do that. So, you know, just this is, uh, do I think they can do it? Uh, they haven't developed it yet, but they're working on it, and they're they're getting people interested in doing it. Well, what do you... I remember a story in the past where we talked about, this is long past, when we were in Florida on Free Talk Live. We've been on the air for 12 years, and, you know, stories come and they go. We were talking about facial recognition software, and sure. we were laughing at the government uh, trying to uh, put to, put up facial recognition software in in Ybor City, and the colossal failure. They're constantly oh, yeah. getting false positives. They get they're getting like five hundred false positives to one yeah. um, on these things, and it was completely useless. But that software's gotten better. Yeah, and, and they might be incompetent, but they're going to get better over time. It, it is getting better. There's actually a similar story linked to in this story where they talk about how their facial recognition software and hardware is getting significantly better. 855-450-3733. Government seeing everything you do. This is Free Talk Live. The flooring experts at Lumber Liquidators have over 8 million square feet of top quality flooring that must be cleared out by end of quarter, March 31st. They've got their lowest price ever on hand-scraped bamboo for just $189 a square foot and three-quarter inch pre-finished hickory for an unheard of $259 a square foot. Get free samples at your local store, plus 22-month special financing is available. So go to LumberLiquidators.com now to find the store nearest you. Hurry, everything must go by Monday, March 31st. Quantum Vibe, it's year 2523. There are colonies on Venus, Mars, and Mercury. People travel in bubbles, fly at hyperspeed. With brain implants and artificial gravity. A scientific genius and his clever assistant set out on an adventure through the solar system on a secret mission to find the key to access new frontiers and save liberty. Quantum Vibe. 
Big Head Press. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, March 28, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,288. Silver opened at $19.67 while Bitcoin is trading at $514.35. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Bitmain Technology, creators of the Antminer S1 180 Giga Hash Bitcoin Miner. No pre-order, ships on time. Sometimes it's early. Buy yours today at bitmaintech.com. Support also comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Online, affordablesound.com or call them 512-459-5253. And support is shown from Sovereign BTC, media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem, online at SovereignBTC.com. In the news, Middleton, Idaho has unanimously voted to ban the implementation of indefinite detention, as outlined in the 2012 National Defense Authorization Act. In a vote of 4 to nothing, the city passed a resolution making Middleton the fifth city in the nation and the second in Idaho to ban indefinite detention. Sections 1021 and 1022 of the 2012 NDAA authorize indefinite military detention of any person without charge or trial. Legal troubles for an anti-gun California state senator. The San Jose Mercury News is reporting that Democratic Senator Leland Yee has been indicted for conspiracy to traffic in firearms without a license and to illegally import firearms. He also faces six counts of corruption, which allegedly involved handing out favors for campaign contributions. Yee is described as one of the most outspoken California lawmakers against gun rights. On March 20th, over 25 technology companies signed onto a public letter asking Senator Ron Wyden to oppose fast-track authority for trade agreements, such as the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Wyden, the new chairman of the Senate Finance Committee, has already spoken in favor of transparency for the TPP negotiations. The companies are asking Wyden to use his new position to reject fast-track, also known as Trade Promotion Authority, which gives the White House more power and influence over international trade agreements. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. Dorothy can walk you through the ins and outs of buying a home. Give her a call, 512-343-6494, or apply online at calldorothy.com, NMLS 216-624. Support also comes from Soleil School, enrolling children age 5 through 10 in Austin. Visit soleilschool.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, March 28, 2014, Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. The government of Turkey on Thursday banned YouTube, just days after doing the same with Twitter. CNN reports the YouTube ban is due to a leak of a conversation between top government officials discussing the possibility of war with Syria. The conversation has also been banned from broadcast on Turkish television and radio. Armed guards could soon be coming to airport security checkpoints. The Transportation Security Administration has made that request, included in a 25-page report released to Congress Wednesday. The Associated Press reports 14 recommendations are included in the report, among them the armed guard scenario. The report does state that trained police officers and not TSA agents would serve as the armed guards. 
The Electronic Frontier Foundation is declaring April 4th a nationwide day of action to call attention to Internet censorship in public libraries and public schools. In collaboration with the MIT Center for Civic Media and the National Coalition Against Censorship, EFF will host a digital teach-in to educate and promote resistance to the use of Internet filters on library computers. Currently, under the Children's Internet Protection Act, libraries are required to accept federal funds to adopt an Internet safety policy that filters websites and blocks software on public and staff computers. Originally designed to filter pornography and content that could be harmful to minors, the EFF claims the law has resulted in unnecessary censorship of constitutionally protected websites. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Mass Appeal Printing, your source for anything printed since 1972, now accepting Bitcoin, online at MassAppealLink.com. And support comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org, homegrown food on every table. That's GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, March 28, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. A prison reform group issued a disturbing new study this week calling conditions in women's correctional facilities deplorably unsexy. The report contends that women's prisons are bleak, dangerous environments with shockingly few soapy showers and erotically charged pillow fights. According to the Prison Justice Initiative, quote, it's a shame that in today's society we still have jails that don't encourage kittenish girl-on-girl -girl exploration. Prison shouldn't be a hotbed of gang violence and drugs. It should be a steamy Shangri-La where caged nymphets discover the sexuality away from the leering eyes of male society. The investigation revealed living conditions that many are calling cruel and degrading, but not in a fun or kinky way. The study's author argues that incarceration should be about more than just punishment. The purpose of prison isn't just to lock people in a box and forget about them. It'll provide opportunities for naughty girls to play nice with each other. Next up, a team of jock scientists have reportedly thrown the cure for asthma onto the roof of the lab. We'll talk to the nerds struggling to retrieve it. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You are listening to the live Sunday night show. And of course, we are kicking off the last hour, the third hour of tonight's program. There is still time to get your calls in at 855-450-3733. You can bring up anything that's on your mind. You can also call us on Skype at lrn.fm. That's our Skype name. And of course, the phone lines and the Skype are sponsored by ProXPN. And tonight with you, it's Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. All right. Well, we were, we've been talking about um, Memex, which is this um, new DARPA project that... It's their super search engine. Their super search engine that's supposed to be able to access, you know, these these nefarious corners of the web, at least that's what they're saying, to get people to uh, accept it, you know, uh, that it can access the dark web and uh, places not visited by the traditional search engines like Google. And the question it brought up for me... And I wanted to talk about it with you guys in this uh, in this segment was what if like there's a conspiracy theory out there that Edward Snowden and all the stuff that he leaked um, was basically a, a plant from the government and that it's not real and that all this spy technology that we're hearing about all the egregious violations of civil liberties and this, you know, this all present eye of the state that's looking at everything that you do that can see the dirt under your fingernails and everything else. Um, maybe it's not real. Maybe they can't actually do this, but what they're doing is trying to make people believe that they can to more effectively control people. And really like, how do we actually know uh, what's the evidence besides the, you know, the Snowden revelations and stuff, what's the evidence that they actually are spying on everything that we do and they have the capability to do all these things that we've heard about? Now, I believe the Edward Snowden. I'm going to go on the record to say I do. Mm -hmm. However, I, I have some, you know, there's some sympathies towards this conspiracy theory. And the reason is, is that every few years you'll hear about some government thing like Raptor. Do you remember Raptor? Yeah. It's, uh, this, it's this pr computer program that scours the Internet, gobbles up everything, and, uh, you know, the government holds the stuff. 
You never heard anything else about Raptor. Edward Snowden never said anything about Raptor. There's never this corroborating evidence that comes later. It's just these, you know, they talk about this thing. So he's got the programs he's talked about. And I don't remember off the top of my cipher. Seems like it was the name of one of them. I don't remember. Prism. Prism. That's, yeah. That was what I was thinking of. Um, Which got, Prism was actually the news reported that to be far more powerful than it actually was. And no one's really retracted uh, a lot of that information. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah, and this is kind of one of the things is that, you know, government efficiency in this area makes news. Government inefficiency in this area isn't really news. There was a news story from, I don't remember when it was, 2006 or seven that the FBI still hadn't managed to implement email. You couldn't have an I email. I remember that. There wasn't yeah. an email account for FBI agents. They had to use, like, you know, Yahoo or whatever. And... I thought they just were passing memos back and forth. In that, that kind of thing, yeah. too. But if you, I mean, you know, they had to have some kind of email and, you know, they just didn't have a government email and they couldn't make that work. I'm sure they've implemented it since no, then. But you can see it didn't, the story never got legs because government being inefficient isn't news. That's reality. People live in that world and they're not, they're not even surprised. Mm -hmm. So I, I wonder to myself, eh, that, uh, that conspiracy theory might go a little ways with me. Yeah, like, I mean, supposedly they've been tapping phones of all these politicians and foreign governments and so forth. And, like, where are the blackmail scandals? Are they coming out yet? I haven't heard much about that. Well, uh, you know, I mean, an, an interesting an interesting thought in all of this is that if they can really do, if the NSA can really see everything like a lot of the Snowden revelations would claim, um, in my opinion, they... the the NSA or the U.S. government, by default, becomes complicit in pretty much every crime that occurs every single day yeah, because they why didn't aren't they stop stopping it. more stuff. You know, and even actually Ford, uh, the 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 head guy at Ford, he claimed he said at at an auto show he said that we know every crime that gets committed in this country because of the GPS devices, because of all the information that the computer inside of uh, of Ford cars had. Now, of course, Ford's not the only one with a computer like that inside of their cars. Mm -hmm. um, and he was actually saying it like he got kind of quoted out of context and people were like, boo, you guys are spying on us. But right. he was trying to say we yeah, like we could know we we technically have the data to like know when all the crimes have been committed, but we don't give it to anybody and we don't do anything with it. Right. And he apparently retracted his phrasing on that, which yeah. I don't blame him. Uh, you know, because <laughs> it was really a PR nightmare. Uh, yeah. But you know, I mean, that that's something to consider. Now, I mean, what are the you know what what comes out of that? What are the uh, conclusions that come out of that? Is that they just you know the government doesn't have the actual manpower to put a stop to all of these things or to even handle the amount of data that they're collecting and they don't and their data center is a mess in utah the things you know almost literally going up in smoke yeah uh, by the day uh that they they can't contain all of this but don't like i would see i think they would probably they it would be valuable to them if everybody thought that they were being constantly very watched valuable all the time. you know yeah. what i mean well you know but, th but this is okay <laughs> i'm gonna take this really far hmm. because I don't. I think, in my opinion, as far as what their actual abilities are, inconsequential. At the end of the day, with what we do know, what we can confirm as being relative fact, I think that if you are targeted, as in your name, you know, if as in, if Brian Sovereign is a target of the NSA, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, they got you once. You're, you're, it's over. It yeah. doesn't matter how secure you are. It doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter what kind of hacker you are. They got you. It's over. Um, and so with with that in mind, and, I, and I'll explain why why I feel that way, too, a little more. I mean, with that in mind, I think the only thing a person can really do is just, you know, secure themselves from pretty much everything else. And there's a lot of great options, easy options on how mm. to do that. OK, but uh, but again, if you're a target, there's nothing you can do. The, now, where I want to take it all the way is that you have these things and you can go on Snopes and you can type this in. And you're going to <laughs> you're going to run into a really disturbing answer when you type in the two these two words mosquito drones okay because snopes is going to come up and it's going to say you know it's it comes up with a neutral answer we can't prove it but we can't disprove it either that's a problem when snopes can't when yeah. they come up with that uncertainty yep. answer Ooh, that's scary and when you consider a mosquito drone 
Look, it doesn't matter what kind of software, if it's Memex or what, if they have a little drone the size of a mosquito that can take a picture of your computer screen at any given time, it just doesn't matter what kind of software It follows you around your house. You yeah. wouldn't even know. Yeah. You would, you would almost never know. Um, it would be incredible. But, but then again, something that small, uh, the battery power is a problem. It's true. Like, so I'm a little skeptical of that, and I'm, I'm skeptical of living in fear. I'm, I'm with you on that. I don't right. think you should live in fear. No, 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 don't. But of yeah. course, just because I don't want to live in fear doesn't mean it's not true. Okay. You know, I, I'm just saying, like, maybe we should consider the possibility that it's not as bad as we no. believe it is. Well, right, but that's why I'm saying you got to be targeted. But if you're targeted, game over. Yeah. Well, we were talking about, Brian, you and I were talking about this airplane. I can't remember what it is, the, the flight that got lost. Uh, that If you yeah. don't know what this flight is, you're not paying attention to anything. <laughs> yeah. um, but this flight that got lost a couple of weeks ago, and the government, I mean, the, the U.S. government obviously cares where this airplane is. If 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 the stories, the narratives are true, and I tend to believe they are, um, w- wants to know where this airplane is, and they can't find it. Yeah. They don't even know generally where to look <laughs> yeah. for it. Like it, they're they're looking, they were covering an area the size of North America. You know, you're effing clueless when you're searching an area <laughs> the size of North America for a jumbo jet. Yeah. Now this is a, this is a device that flies above the clouds, so you can't say there was cloud cover covering where the jumbo jet was um so you've got this situation where supposedly and and i remember stephanie you use the term um dirt underneath your fingernails but i remember i was in middle school they sent some government bureaucrat was either like a dad or something he was there talking to us about his job and he's and then as you know he's a satellite spy guy right and he said that these satellites could see the dirt underneath your fig- fingernails and this is 1981 you're talking about 30 something years ago they claimed that they could see the dirt underneath your fingernails now they're talking about they can read license plates with these things which i it sounds like a step down doesn't it um <laughs> you know but whatever it is that they claim they can't find a jumbo jet flying above the clouds um you know in in, in the past yeah it's the only comfort you can really have is that I mean it's a, it's a, it's a tragedy what happened but it's the only comfort you have is like, look if they can't find a jet maybe I can hide somewhere yeah you would think that um, if they really could see everything they wouldn't want you to know because then you'd keep committing crimes and they could get you or whatever anyway what do you think this is free talk live 855 450 free can they spy on you whatever you do I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace 
freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show, and we're so glad you're joining us this evening. It's Stephanie with you. And Brian. And Mark. Call us at 855-450-3733 with anything that's on your mind. What do you think about the discussion we had in the last segment? Uh, Is all this spy stuff real? Is it as bad as we've been led to believe? Or, uh, you know, is it... Do they just want you to think that they're able to see everything that you're doing in order to better control you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pretty obvious that uh, governments want control. I mean, that's not a big surprise to anybody, is it? Nope. Nope. I mean, it doesn't seem like it, like it is. That's one of the reasons that we at Free Talk Live, everybody in this room, picked up and moved our lives to New Hampshire because we believe that the maximum role of government should be the protection of life, liberty, and property. And that's mm-hmm. the maximum role. And you can interpret that to whatever you know way you interpret it. But there are lots of people that don't believe the government's even competent enough to handle those things here in New Hampshire. Right we, all, we all picked up and moved <laughs> for that purpose, to see government limited in um, the areas that it can uh, you know interact with us in our lives. And the, the fewer the better. You know, so you can go to freestateproject.org if you're if you believe in that mission and you're believing it so thoroughly, you're willing to pick up your life and life and move. Because if believe me, if you're on the fence on this one, don't move. We don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, there's bother? A, there's a lot of people who are definitely excited about it. Yeah, and, enough I mean, to move, and they're sure of that. Yeah, you should be sure, right? Mm-hmm. You should. And one way to get sure, perhaps, is to come to the Porcupine Freedom Festival. I it, think a lot of people uh, make up their minds. They get yes. sure yes. there. Yes. <laughs> at the Porcupine Freedom Festival, you can go see, go see the website at porkfest.com. That's P-O-R-C-fest.com. It goes on in June, the 22nd through the 29th. It'll be, uh, it's a huge event. Uh, there's going to be 1,500 people there. Yeah, you Ta- know, Mark, we always kick off Pork Fest by doing the Pork Fest Eve Sunday night Free Talk Live special from the Rogers Campground. I suspect there'll be dozens and dozens of people who have been there for days at this point <laughs> <laughs> by the time we show up. But we had a full audience last year on yeah. Sunday yeah. night, like, and that was before Pork Fest even officially started. So, yeah. And Pork Fest is a week, but some people show up early and some people, honestly, probably stay late too. Yeah. And they tour the state and that kind of thing. But there's uh, there'll be going to be vendors dances, parties, karaoke, speakers, lots and lots of family events, uh, parties. Like I said, there's certainly plenty of that. Go to porkfest.com and come out and hang out with us in New Hampshire at the oh, campground. Oh, yes, please. It's lots of fun. P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T.com. Very affordable and fun vacation. 
All right. Um, 855-450-FREE is our phone number here on Free Talk Live. That's free, the word F-R-E-E, which in numbers is 3733. Oh, I might as well just say the phone number in numbers, 855-450-3733. That is the ProXPN toll-free call-in line or on Skype, lrn.fm. And uh, Brian, you had another story I wanted to talk about. Yeah, uh, this actually... People are going to love where this comes from. This mm-hmm. comes from Liberal Land. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's the name of the website. Uh, that is sounds like a the conservative name of the website. website. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Brian, sometimes you get a- accused of being a liberal on the sometimes. show. Sometimes? Sometimes I do, too. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if, why that is, but... Oh, I, I can imagine a, a, f- a few reasons, but anyway. <laughs> um, this is a, just really a, a mind-blowing uh, story. Uh, it's GOP bill would force divorcing women to get permission before sex so wow. hard to believe Wouldn't they love to implement that on everybody right like everybody <laughs> has to have a, a permission slip a signed note from your dad i mean from the republican legislator <laughs> before you have sex with now i else. this is i tend to think i hope god i hope I, you know, I was just talking to, a, you know, somebody who's in, I guess I'm vaguely in the Republican Party here in New Hampshire. I am a delegate to the state convention. I vote on the platform. Mm-hmm. Now, there are 800 people that do this and is by no means a particularly exclusive thing. When I ran for this, I was the un- unopposed in my town. <laughs> um, so It's the only way you got in. Nobody d- wants that stinking job. <laughs> likely true. So, but what we were talking about, this is another one of the delegates voting on the platform, and he's like, you know, in other states, these people just keep on saying the stupidest things. And we're hoping here in New Hampshire that we can just get all the dumb people out of the Republican Party, and we're having a reasonable amount of success at it, um, because we're able to vote out the dumb stuff like this. What would you say w- was dumb, or what would he this, say? This, saying this this, um, so like the social conservatism? Kind the of social thing? conservatism, saying things like women shouldn't be able to have sex while they're going through divorce proceedings, mm. but I assume that logically that men could. Now, I suspect what you're, I suspect that this is a twisted article, and Brian, you have not, because you have that liberal tendency, haven't looked <laughs> at it, but it in fact is the parent in possession of the children that is not allowed to have sex during uh, pres- divorce proceedings. Which I still believe is unfair because if one parent, if, if one person going through a divorce, nobody should, if that's going to be the rule, then nobody going through a divorce should be able to have sex. Is it just women though, Brian, or is it everybody? Uh, it is just women. I'll, I'll read. Wow. There, this is a pretty short. Um, that I'm stunned well, you know, <laughs> at in the some, stupidity. In some uh, states, like this already is illegal, but it, see, it seemed like it was, it's a holdover from like a time gone past, you know, like in North Carolina, Virginia, like you can't even get divorced. Or, I'm sorry. This is, this is men and women. Oh, it's men and women. This okay. is men and women. Okay. So, yes, well, but it's good. It's it's functionally women, uh, but factually men and but, women. But but you're right about it. It does require you, like the whoever has the children. Yeah. Mm, and so that's why they're kind of aiming it more towards you know. And that's I wanted to read the story first, but anyway, that's why they're they're aiming it more towards mm. uh, uh, the women. I think because women in the court system are favored to have uh, custody of the children. You know, I wasn't entirely stunned when you had ma- made the mistake and said that it was women because the Republicans have been, what, what was that one Republican that not too long ago said, oh, women can't uh, have children from getting raped because the body has a way of taking care of the sperm or oh, something like that. Yeah. You know, just a bunch of, th- there's been nonsense after nonsense that uh, gets <laughs> said and it's just like, oh God, thanks for, thanks Republicans, you make this so easy. <laughs> well, I want to talk more about this here in moments, but we've got a call on Skype from Liberty Phoenix. Hi, Liberty Phoenix. You're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, guys. Um, I was just wanting to comment on some options for getting to Porkfest. I've been looking at the different ways to get there, and there's a there's a really cool site called Zimride. Yeah. Where you, uh, I spell you it. can sign up. Z-I-M. Z-I-M-R-I-D-E. Zimride, okay. Um. You know, you can sign up and see who's going where, and they show you the routes to Porkfest and away from Porkfest, as long as you're like, you have to access that event for Porkfest. Yeah. Um, I think it's integrated with the Porkfest website, right? There's like a tab that says ride sharing, and you can look at it there. Uh, I accessed it through the Facebook. Oh, uh, gotcha. The Facebook group Porkfest. Yeah, everything's on but, Facebook now anyway. <laughs> it's half the internet. Well, there's... One of the rides that was on there was uh, a gentleman by the name of Brian H., and it looks exactly like Brian Hagen. 
So if I'm lucky, I might get a, I might get a, get to take a ride with Brian Hagen at Pork Fest. You can hitch a ride with a celeb. Who's that? A celebritarian. <laughs> Brian Hagen is a, a podcaster. He has the voice that sounds like Alex oh, Jones. Yes, yeah. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's done and some he stuff in for New Hampshire, I think. Well, uh, yeah, he's, Kansas he's, City, I believe. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, what's what's he doing giving a ride if he lives in New Hampshire? <laughs> oh, he might be going from like Manchester to Pork Fest or something. That's one of the reasons that I can't give anybody a ride where I live to you know the, the camper. Nobody's gonna nobody who's coming from anywhere <laughs> is ever gonna take that route. Right. Well, if you have more Liberty Phoenix, hang on. Um, that would be great to talk about some options for getting to Pork Fest because I'm sure other people are curious about that too. And we'll also talk more about the Massachusetts uh, politician who wants you to ask his permission before you have sex if you're going through a divorce. Ooh, why get the state involved in your marriage? This is Free Talk Live. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now I can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Hello, this is anchor Doyle Redland. I have just been informed that my 40-year contract with the Onion Radio News expired two minutes ago. A brief extension has been added to my contract to allow me to say goodbye to you, my faceless listeners. I've been reading the news out loud on the air for a very long time now, and the words to describe my feelings are difficult to find. Steve... What are you doing? This, this is my big moment. I'm getting the word now that you have to leave the studio right now. But where will I go? Now. Well, uh, goodbye, everyone. I'm just coming back for my hat. Uh, no, it's it's my hat. I just I just need it, and I'll go. There's no need to get pushy. Moose, Rocco, I thought we were friends. 
Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. <laughs> This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. And of course, you can call in and bring up anything that's on your mind. That's why we call it Free Talk Live. Our number is 855-450-3733, the Pro XPN toll-free call-in lines. And uh, you can also call us on Skype, and there is someone calling on Skype right now, but I can't answer it because there is already a call on the Skype line, and we kind of have a one call. It's hard to juggle the calls on Skype, yeah, so I just it. keep it simple and do one call, so <laughs> that person can call back in later. So blockchain.info has a really good online wallet. It's the best, I would say. And Brian, you agree? It is the best online wallet. The, the golden stallion of the tech world That's right. uh, claims that uh, blockchain.info is the best online wallet. And w- one of the reasons is is that it interfaces with your smartphone, uh, your tablet, whatever. You, you can use this on your – you can one minute be using it on your laptop, the next minute be using it on your smartphone. It makes it convenient. Your bitcoins go with you. They even have an app on Chromebook. It's amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. It really, really is. And they because of the encryption techniques that they use – you can't be spied on. They, uh, blockchain never ha- possesses your Bitcoins. Only you do. And they've got, even got tools that make it easy for you to send and receive your Bitcoins anonymously. They've got so many tools. It's the most used Bitcoin website out there. Blockchain.info. You know, I want to say real quick, um, there was kind of a, a now famous story where uh, a free aid, uh, actually, they got their, they, they lost, they had a blockchain.info wallet yep. and they lost their Bitcoins. Yep. Yeah. I want to make this really clear. Blockchain.info wasn't the problem. Email was. Yep. In my opinion. Yeah. Well, so, we're still in the middle of. Um, yeah, but I mean, but as, as it issue. stands right now, blockchain.info itself didn't get hacked. No, okay, the, right. blockchain.info can't get hacked. They don't have a centralized database with exactly. the private keys. Yeah. I just However, make- their two factor authentication reset policy may need some work, and we're still mm-hmm. figuring out exactly what happened. Sure. There. But, yep. but the there point is, is that an- Bitcoin solid, blockchain.info did not get hacked hacked Mm -hmm. okay so i just wanted to make that clear yeah but you can have two-factor authentication on your email too and yep you can should have been the case unfortunately well uh let's go to the phones we're talking with liberty phoenix and how to get to pork fest hey liberty phoenix you're back on free talk live hey guys um there was one of the people in the chat room that wanted to know what some of the options were for getting from the littleton to the uh to the campsite isn't there a uh, an Agora taxi or something to that effect up there? Well, there definitely is, will be. This is a uh, pretty specialized question, but for people who are just t- tuning in, we're talking about the Porcupine Freedom Festival gathering of freedom-loving people up in the woods in New Hampshire every summer. It happens in June. Check out porcfest.com if you want to find out more. Um, but, yeah, I think there every year up to this point, I mean, I don't know who is going to be running sort of a ride, you know, ride that people can get you know maybe for bitcoin maybe for barter whatever uh at the actual event but i can tell you that every year up until this year there has been a service like that so i'm pretty (laughs) sure that it will be back (laughs) yes i guess in the true spirit of agorism it's just spontaneous i think so i mean there is definitely a need for it and that's what entrepreneurs do they see a need and they fill it and one of the problems with agorism is is that they um, an agorist is a person who works in the sort of dark to gray uh, black to gray market um so they often they don't pay taxes on the things they do so if i said hey here's the names and emails and telephones of the agorist taxis um then (laughs) you know maybe government agents listen to free talk live and maybe they write those things down and maybe they throw those people in jail I'm pretty sure most of the um, Agorist services at Porkfest are actually advertised on Facebook. Okay. Like the people post about them openly. But like usually with taxis, the biggest problem, like the issue is that the cops are basically enforcing protectionism for the existing taxi companies. And I just don't think there are too many taxi, like, li- you know, state licensed uh and state approved taxis that operate in Lancaster, New Hampshire, <laughs> unless you call them, you know, and they come from somewhere else, like a bigger city, because it's just a super rural place. So probably in all likelihood, they probably don't care. 
Well, thanks, guys. I'll free up your Skype line now. You guys have a great night. Cool. We'll see you at Porkfest. Thanks for calling Liberty Phoenix. And, of course, you can call us on Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733, the ProXPN toll-free call-in lines. Yeah. And, actually, we do have another call on Skype and a call on the phone. I'm going to take them in the order that they were received. So, first, we're going to talk to Murdoch, listening in Indiana. Hi, Murdoch. You're on Free Talk Live. Murdoch going once. <laughs> I meant to say Missouri, and it was Richard. Okay. Okay. Hi, Richard <laughs> in Missouri. That's totally random. <laughs> so what's no, on your I mind tonight? We're taking liberty with the call screen who didn't get the joke. When, uh, it was Mark. couldn't remember the name of that freakish, embarrassing Republican who should have dropped out of the race ah. when he suggested a woman couldn't get pregnant. If she were being raped, because uh, I guess it wasn't consensual sex. Oh, and, uh, I thank guess you. I'm, yes, it was hugely embarrassing to the party. Just as uh, somebody suggesting that a woman or a man shouldn't have sex while they're having marital problems in the house with kids. I don't think there should be a law against that. But I do think a divorce judge should and must and can hold that against one of the ex-spouses for having sex in the house if he feels like... What if it's what a bunch of men say or a bunch of women? Is that not wrong? Well, well, or, it's, uh, it's yeah. as wrong as it is for that particular family. And I can see that many of families course. that would be confusing yeah. for. Let me let me ask you this, though. Let's let's I say, say it was wrong. I, if I may say quickly, I would say it's wrong in all circumstances to have multiple sex partners while you're going through a divorce, man or woman. What if Mark, you have no children? Mark, right? What if you had a polyamorous relationship um, that? You know, during your marriage, we're talking about situations where there are kids in the house. You did. I know you did. So I'm let's sorry, not what? change the subject. No, but people uh, that have you, multiple sex partners have kid. kids sometimes. OK, forgive me. I don't support the law, but I understand where it's coming from. Me too. And I understand. I understand my fellow Republicans and that more majority crap is what you called it. Right, Mark? Yep. The other night. Generally, yeah. generally, that's the case. Yes. Yeah, but no, what, exactly. here's what I'm here's what I'm trying to say to you Not is that your fellow Republicans. God, listen to me. Would you stop trying to talk over me? I'm having a conversation with I'm you. Do you think I'm going to dump you? <laughs> I don't think you will ever. You always get the first word, and you always have to say what you want to say already. I already know where you're coming from. I want your audience to know where. Do I'm you know where I'm coming from? Because I don't think you do. I don't feel heard. Libertarian Republican. Okay, you're what's my position on this then? Who, who on what? On this issue. Because I was going to explain it to you, but you know what it is, so I'm you asking you to say it. And from rest of relationships, and that doesn't have anything to do with what I'm talking about or the issue at hand. You or actually the, answered before I finished talking, so I didn't hear what you said. Okay. I brought it in because I wanted to say that has nothing to do with what the subject at hand has is about. Well, I, I, I think it lot. does have something to do with it. I mean, because you said that uh, it's wrong to have multiple do, sex. I, I'm just curious what your thoughts are about that because you said you thought it was wrong to have multiple sex partners and I asked you know mm -hmm. does it depend yeah, on I the do. presence of kids or does it depend on the agreement in the marriage or what I already alluded to it has to do with the presence of kids Stephanie and mm -hmm. in a court a matter of a divorce court proceeding okay but that's not really 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 why I wanted to call in but the funny well, you can't throw down the gauntlet and then talk about something else please we it's it's we try to make it one issue a night so that we can um, you know flesh out an issue with okay. somebody well, you haven't been just talking about one issue tonight no we haven't but, that's we try to make it yeah. one issue per caller per night is what I'm trying to say to you so that we can have a full conversation about that instead of you switching in midstream while we're talking about something instead okay. of you know getting able being able to talk Talk about it. And this is what I want to do is okay. I want to talk about it. Here's my question to you. Here's my question to okay. you. During a divorce proceeding, let's say the woman, this is a monogamous relationship that these people have been in, and the woman has the kids, the normal circumstance. Everything's normal here. Should, and, and you know, she's not, she has a, a man over. Should the judge take that as, into consideration and then give it to, then, then decide that the children go to the husband if the husband's been having women come over too? Isn't it the same, sort of the same situation there? Is that a yes or no question? I think it's yes or no. Like you did. It's a loaded question. It's loaded? So no answer? A man comes over the house. It doesn't mean they're in a relationship. I mean, the man came over the house. 
Murdoch, thanks for the call tonight. This is Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. Everybody wants to know, what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is, and it's at bitcoingeneralstore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything, with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical Bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. You got to see what they have to offer. Visit bitcoingeneralstore.com today. That's bitcoingeneralstore.com. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live. I can't believe it, but it's the last segment of the program tonight. Wow, how did that happen? I don't know. It Time flies, you know. But there is, maybe, still calls, still time to get your calls in tonight at 855-450-3733. Of course, that is the ProXPN toll-free call-in line. Or you can maybe call on Skype after this call is finished with Nathan at LRN.FM. That's our Skype name. 
And uh, guys, did you have anything to announce before we uh, start into the calls? Well, you can get uh, free archives of Free Talk Live going back many years at archives.freetalklive.com. We give them away for free, unlike other shows that, uh, um, you know, they charge you for this stuff. Mm. Oh, yes. Go back in time. Do a time warp. Pick a random date. And you can hear a very entertaining Free Talk Live show. I mean, you know, a lot. I think I've been listening to Free Talk Live daily for a number of years, for many years, since maybe like 2004 five or four and uh i have to say that most of the shows are very good like they're very entertaining they keep me listening and entertained and maybe they will with you too i think what's well, the funniest things is to really go back and listen to way back <laughs> the, the way back episodes and yeah. how my positions and ian's positions have changed over time oh my gosh i i think my favorite years for free talk live were 2006 and 2007 because that was a time when you and ian had this dynamic going on really strongly the where, minarchist anarchist uh a battle yep there yeah. there was a great discussion almost every night about that where you guys were just duking it out and i just love that that time yeah ian time didn't life. successfully convert me i converted myself on some issues um and really it came That's down he to, wants you to think <laughs> not what i what not what i think is best for the world yeah. but whether i have the right to tell people what's best for their lives mm. And that's really the question you got to ask. If somebody refuses to participate in whatever your grand idea is, is are you willing to throw them in a jail cell over it? Mm, indeed. And that's the question that one needs to ask for this of if you're one as a small government type. <laughs> Great question, Mark. Okay, let's go to the phones and talk to Nathan. Hi, Nathan. He's listening on Skype, by the way, or he's he's calling on Skype. He, I don't know how he's listening. <laughs> Hi, Nathan. You're on Free Talk. Live. I'm going to guess the internet. Nathan. Nathan, can you hear us? Going once. Nathan, going twice. Do you have the uh, CPU button push there? I do. Yeah, he. Sh we should be able to hear him. All right. Um. Mm -hmm. All right, Nathan. Well, we'll call put back. We'll put you on hold. Oh, I heard something. Nathan, is that you? Hello. Hi. There we go. Okay. <laughs> What's on your mind? He's using tonight? a microphone that didn't work. Uh well, I, I wanted to talk about what Mark and you were just discussing about a uh, Star Trek episode from Deep Space Nine that involves time warps and telling people what to do. Oh, okay. cool. I love Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get discussed on the show as much. Uh, although maybe if I go back to 2006, I don't know, maybe it'll be one of those. I'll try and change <laughs> that. I'll, I'll... <laughs> Brian is a huge Star Trek fan, too. And actually, I think you're right, Nathan. Maybe we could stand to have a little more nerd discussion. On the, on so the, the episode is called Things Past, and it stars Rene Auberginois' character. He's a policeman. And the episode is basically him having a dream of a time seven years past where he conducted a uh, investigation on three men who were accused of a, uh, some kind of bombing and he allowed them to die even though they were innocent and there was evidence there that could have acquitted them okay and it's interesting because his character is uh, uh, well he's a shapeshifter but not the kind you hear about on Alex Jones he's uh, <laughs> Kind of an outsider, and he be, he's kind of he was kind of found floating in space somewhere, and then he became a policeman. And his character on this particular incarnation of Star Trek often struggles with these issues that Mark just referred to. You know, is it uh, is it okay to tell people what to do to force them to cooperate? Is that really what justice and rights and freedom is all yeah. about? When you have great power. Um, you can make the world, uh, you know, much. You have much more power to make the world over in your image. And should you use that power is is a, often a really great question. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, exactly. this, yeah, th this episode in particular, uh, I remember. This is where they they tried to assassinate Gold Ducat, right? Yes. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, uh, this is one of the ones where where Blackstone's uh, law, I'll say, really comes into into play. Where Which that, is that ten people. Better that better. 10 guilty people go free mm -hmm. than one innocent person suffer. Yeah. And this is what Odo runs into, the character that does the conviction. He felt he had enough evidence to, you know, that these Bajorans did this assassination attempt. And then he found out that, you know, he was wrong. So, again, is it, is it an, you know, do you, this is where Blackstone's, you know, theory or law, whatever they want to call it, comes in. Is it worth it to let 10 guilty people go free so that one innocent person doesn't suffer? For me, I mean, this episode just cinches it and says, yeah, no, you know what? Let the guilty people go free. And it's told from the perspective of the people who are innocent. Right. Mm. Well, you know, um, I, this what this brought to mind Rolls was another Star Trek work. episode for me, which I thought to be very um, interesting, which is, uh, and it, re it really was very freeing for you me. This call is. It uh, I Nathan, think, Nathan I we're think having some connection. I think we've got a bit of a delay here. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. 
I think we've got a bit of a de- and delay in our connection, so I'm going to so have to going. let you go. But th- <laughs> thanks for calling in. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, the so John Luke Picard from the Next Generation or the New right. Generation or whatever Next it is. Next Generation. Next Generation. Um, there was a Robotech one called New Generation. If you want to look that. That's up. That's right. Um, <laughs> so the most romantic show in history, Robotech. Go ahead. The um, yeah. So anyway, he when he was younger, he got stabbed in the heart by some kind of alien in a bar the fight. Nosikans. Yeah. yeah. Whatever it was. And Q, the basically God. Um, it gives him the opportunity to redo his life, and if he doesn't get into the bar fight, he doesn't become the captain because he doesn't have that sort of internal metal. He has chosen a lower route, a uh, an easier route, and the easier route doesn't have him being, you know, the captain of the Starship Enterprise, which it's very interesting because... At this time in my life that I saw this, this is, you know, I'm in prison and mm. I had the opportunity to You were literally to see this. watching that from prison? I was watching that mm. from prison and I would beat myself up over a lot of things that happen in my life. I mean, obviously, hopefully people are doing that in prison, right? And the... I then got some freedom around this because at some point or another, all this, uh, you know, guilt that piles up becomes useless and you need to sort of, you know, everybody, you need to forgive everybody and move on to some extent and this is what this allowed me to do the star trek episode because it, it it star trek has always been so good about talking about moral issues sometimes i agree sometimes i disagree right but they're great about this they bring stuff up in ways that most shows don't and what it said to me is is that look you are the person you are mm. and you need to choose not to make other mistakes but not but at the same time at, at, well, the core of your being is a good thing, and you yeah. need to you need to you know that that accept core, yourself. Yeah, yeah accept what be, you did. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't accept what you did. Accept what you are, and forgive yourself for the mistakes you make. Yeah, yeah, it's all part of who you are. Even things you may not like in the past, they're still part of you, and like accepting them as part of yourself. Probably. Yeah, it was it's it's an interesting episode. Uh, Tapestry. It's from the sixth season in the Next mm. Generation. That was the name of the episode. And in that, he actually You're like, like Wikipedia with this oh, with Star line. Trek, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but but there's a point where where Picard's like asking because you know it's years later and he's not the captain now because he he didn't take that risk. Yeah, and. He's asking, he's like, look, you know, I think I could be, because he's a scientist in this case now. He's not the captain. And he's asking, you know, I think I have command, I'm command material. I think I'd be good at it. And he's asking Riker, you know, why can't I be a captain now? And Riker tells, well, it's because you've never taken any risks in your life. You know, mm-hmm. and so that, that you know, that, that, that intersection, that bad, terrible moment with those aliens, you know, early on in life was so formative to him becoming who he was. Uh, yeah, you got to accept who you are. Let's uh, sneak in this call from Sydney uh, in the very last moments of the show, listening in North Carolina. Hi, Sydney. You're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hi. I'm trying to um, get a new car, and I was concerned about all the um, navigation systems and all the engine immobilizers and stuff like that. Yeah. And I was hoping that somebody could answer that. Oh, yeah, Absolutely. Um, well, just to warn you, Sydney, we only have two minutes left in the show, but if we don't get to completely answer your question, you can always call back any night from 7 to 10 Eastern time here on Free Talk Live. But yeah. Brian hosts a tech okay. podcast, so maybe he can answer. Yep, I'll gladly answer this. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's actually at a, at a hacker conference uh, called DEF CON last year, they actually were able to control a car, a modern car, uh, with an Android phone. Um, and so you don't just have to like, you know, like I get it. You under, you're worried about, you know, the government being able to control a vehicle or turn it off, which they can do with OnStar. Uh, but I mean, private individuals can do this too. There's really the only answer to this question. And I've actually thought about this a lot. The only answer to this question is to buy a car f- from before 1996. That that's before 1996. Yep. And it'll actually, if you can get a pre-96 car, you're actually, in, it's going to be a lot easier because your inspection, I mean, I'm not sure what state you live in, but uh, if you have to go through car inspections, your oh. inspections last like, te- they're go, they go by in 10 minutes mm. because you don't have to hook it up to the computer for, you know, to get all the new software and all this stuff. So that's really the only answer. If you're worried about that stuff, the only answer is buy a pre-96 car. 96? I thought it was 98. No, pre-96. 96 96 is when they inputted the new... uh, Okay. Cool, Sydney. Well, we're out of time. I hope that helps, and thanks for the call tonight. This has been Free Talk Live. You can call us any night of the week and uh, find us online at freetalklive.com. Thanks for tuning in.
The Shire Free Church offers a sanctuary to those seeking an escape from state churches. The Shire Free Church is an interfaith, diverse group of people that may not share identical theological beliefs. As a member in or minister of the Shire Free Church, you are a sovereign individual and may be the faith of your choice. We don't claim to have all of the answers. We are open to all peaceful people. We want to learn from each other. What unifies the Shire Free Church and its diverse members is peace, love, and liberty. There are many paths to God, one for every individual. The Shire Free Church does not define a specific path beyond those parameters that must be your foundation. Peace as your way. Love as your guide. And liberty as your light. Learn more at church.shiresociety.com. That's church.shiresociety.com. Have you ever wanted to help a hardworking person get their business off the ground? Then join me in enjoying some BuzzBox coffee. Let's make a difference, one cup at a time. Join us in helping people buy their own coffee farms through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Free Talk Live coffee drinkers will truly change lives forever. To get the best coffee you've ever tasted, it's organic, shade-grown, and top 1% Arabica grade. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The first pound's free, just cover shipping. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Liberty Conspiracy is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, March 28, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,288. Silver opened at $19.67, while Bitcoin is trading at $514.35. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Bitmain Technology, creators of the Antminer S1 180 Giga Hash Bitcoin Miner. No pre order, ships on time. Sometimes it's early. Buy yours today at bitmaintech.com. <laughs> 